guys had killed the ancient crate dragon, however took the pearl and alienated the, the Gorfas. Uh, <clears throat> confusing most of the party. Uh, as to Z's intentions, and have since returned to your ship. I forget exactly. You guys aren't in orbit, right? But where did you guys like? Where are? Where, where is your ship? We're heading back to the city to go to our main ship, where we're meeting up with the people we contacted for the raid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, two of the clones uh, came. Is what you would call. Brez and Gear. You'd recall Gear was the heavily damaged, barely alive dark trooper, but from what you learned, he's been repaired. Uh, Brez was the sniper. They're already here, or they're still in transit? Uh, from what you... Give me a sec. About to sneeze. God damn it, it didn't happen. Now I'm satisfied. Um, okay. Uh, so... Chain got a message saying that they had basically just landed in Mos Eisley. Uh... So they are in town. And I presume you guys are on the way back to your ship. They do not know exactly where your ship is, though. <laughs> uh, Did we leave it at the Jun Junland Desert, though? Yeah, I mean, we left the ship in town, and then we took, uh, yeah, we wait. This little ship. We the took little ship, the smaller yeah. ship, yeah. 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 smaller ship. Yeah. You, you guys made the very easy insight that you guys probably aren't really welcome in the Jundland Wastes anymore. <laughs> no, indeed. And thus the sky screams of the Banshees above in Black Fighters. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, what exactly are you guys doing? Um, probably heading back to the main city, I uh, look at Chain. Did you tell them where we parked the ship? And let Rhea know that we were having guests? Did you also uh, clean up your room? I... I look at Cora. How do you know I got a hold of people? You said that two of your brothers were on the way. I did? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I told you, but not nobody else. <laughs> no, I did not. I, I immediately contacts uh, <laughs> contact him. Hey, uh, we're we're our ship's located here. Uh, let me call get three in here. Call Rhea at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I then realize that Rhea's up front piloting the ship. Oh shit, uh, Rhea, we have yeah, yeah, yeah. She's <laughs> flying the, the the little ship currently. Uh, I was gonna say, was there even a need to? I mean, I could have piloted the ship or Liliana. No, she was the one who was already piloting it. Was oh, one okay. One was... Like she picked up the crystal and stuff. Um, yeah, who, okay. who are the guests? Fuck, I forgot their names just now. Gear and Brez. As yes, uh, two of my brothers. Right? She'd like uh, lean into uh, lean into one of the comm things. Y seven, we got guests coming. Uh, she like takes her finger off. I probably shouldn't tell them that they look like. Yeah, that's. What's the worst that could happen? Don't you remember the first time when Y seven met me? R two Y seven doesn't exactly like chain. I mean, that, that seems like a chain problem. <laughs> I don't know why he doesn't like me. I haven't done anything bad to him. Might just call him out for being rude to me. Well, 
Well, sometimes that's all it takes is for you. I mean, it's kind of rude whenever you say, hey, you're being rude to me, but I guess... I mean, he believed that I couldn't understand the language, and here I am. I could speak ones and zeros. <clears throat> I think that's a little diminutive of their language. I mean, you should, you should hear what he calls me behind Rhea's back. I, I don't think it's ever behind Rhea's back. <laughs> I look back at Rhea. What is the most heinous racist thing that he has said about me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if it's racist is the thing usually he specifically says you and Matt so that he doesn't trust she just shrugs see see it saying something to her about you know being racist about you know him would be like an un unintentionally being a dick to her so they're probably considerate about that and don't say it. They probably just single you out and just say, you know, something derogatory towards you. Hey, and I've only hey. ever caught him once trying to convince Chef Bot to poison you, which hey, don't don't worry about don't worry about the bot. He he refused. I mean, yeah. He and said then, he's gonna kill us all one day with his cooking. And then cooking. Y and then Y seven said that he well, he said he tried hacking and that that failed. If he wanted to kill me, why didn't he just release Tandy's mouse droid? I mean, fair point. I mean, don't ask me. Maybe he's scared of that thing too. He's scared. I mean, then again, I did promise the little mouse bugger that uh, if he can control his violence a little bit, I might <laughs> might be attempting to modify some blasters on them. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. The promise of more of I'm not gonna lie. That is a perfect strategy. I've done that to him. The promise of something better to commit violence. Well, well, uh, some. Wow, minimizing the violence always works. I, to I told him, I told him if he always wanted to, you know, hurt a lot of people, I give him a plasma charge. But I don't know how he's going to detonate it without killing himself. He was mm -hmm. gun hole for that one. Yeah, like for example, I got, I managed him to stop scaring away the customers by letting him terrorize the other droids. So, well, it looks like uh, we need to have Y seven a new threat on the ship to. Co to get away from me. I don't know why he hasn't yelled at you. Is it because I'm armed with the guns and explosives 24-7? I don't think it's that. I don't, I don't think... I don't know. I look back. Hey, what? how old is your uh, R2-Y7 model? <laughs> Don't ask me. I didn't yeah, well, I... Or did I? Fuck, I don't remember. Have you just tried saying, look, we got off on a bad start. Let's start again. My name is no. Chain. No, because uh, most of during the Clone Wars, Jedis would use R2 models. And if that's a surviving one from the Clone Wars, yeah, they're going to hate clones no matter what. So? Times change, things move on. Do you know how many Jedi we've had to hunt down in our past? Have you tried it yet? I mean, it's just a couple of words. I mean, you could always give it a try, and if it doesn't work, he's like, okay, well, now we know for sure it doesn't work. And if I say those words and he tries to zap me still, Rhea, do I have permission to kick it? <laughs> That doesn't help your problem. Like that just makes things worse. I mean, that's probably hey, just gonna I, make him try to zap you again. i true, but if I apologize and he zaps me, it doesn't solve anything, Cora. Actually, no, uh, if I kick him, he'll probably shoot you. Did you modify a blaster on it? No, he just has one. Apparently, the little hand of his is better than better than I thought. So. I, I look over to Matt. Matt, be ready with the droid popper. <laughs> Little Ova killed, don't you think? 
We will fix its circuits later, after our memory wipe, for its hostility towards people. Once again, not towards people, towards you. Rhea seems to handle it just fine. I've been in the cockpit a couple times and it's never mean to me. Fine, when we get on the ship, I'll apologize first. But if that thing becomes hostile, Cora, you have to buy me alcohol. Expensive bottles. Deal. <laughs> I'm adding this to the recording for after the <laughs> end credits of the Crate Dragon fight so I can post this all you, over. You didn't get my permission to record. <laughs> That's an invasion uh, of my I, privacy. I, I, I look at Cor Cora. This is the Z Space YouTube station now. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking? I, I don't ever, re I don't ever remember signing away my rights to you, for you to use my likeness. That's gonna come at a surcharge. Wait, I'm at, uh, like, oh, wait, you're, are, you're, are, hold up. Wait, you're on tattoo. It's you? a one-party policy. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> wait, are are you supposed to charge for appearance fee? Appearance fees, because. I only thought that worked for people who were, were super popular. I'd like I don't like I don't think I got like my face it like my faces even could. Oh, pull oh yeah, I, I got you yeah, yeah. three all on camera being scared of the crate dragon while Z and I were fighting it the entire time, along with the Lil Liliana. <laughs> it's a legitimate fear, okay? That thing was fucking massive. <laughs> I mean, I don't really care if people know I was frightened by a great dragon, because, look, I'm a small town, small towner. What, what else would people think I, what else would people think? Like, I've been on what, a, a total of what, three? It wasn't really scary. <laughs> this entire time, you'd hear a ching at the end. Oh, it's finally uploaded. Sweet. <laughs> you get any, like, honestly, how much foot traffic do you honestly get on these videos? Have you ever checked? Or do you just put them up there and then just, like, leave them and never check them? Oh, I, I wait till I get people uh, for hate comments, usually for hunting beasts like the crate dragon or those who have been rare to be found. Yeah, mine get a lot of people watching it. I look over and see, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of the one, I, I'm kind of one of those people, I wanted to see everything that you've done in the past. Hmm. Some great shit at Salukamai, though. I don't really check to see how many people watch it, I just remember a lot of people did watch the first one, and I just kept putting them up, or Larray did, and now Liliana does, and I don't really know. Uh, hell, I've been recording everything that we've done, like, badass-wise, because... Mm -hmm. Remember, you wanted video proof of everything that happened, especially yep. on that ship with the imposters. Yep. Yeah, I've been recording stuff too. Either way, I. Mm, I should say either way, but. I have to go talk to somebody about something. So I'm gonna go do that. you gonna go do like who are you gonna talk to i'm gonna go talk to that jedi is that a smart idea nope then why are you gonna do it yeah what i, I mean immediately look at z z do you, are you gonna need help um i should be good unless he's stronger than a crate dragon yeah have you fought a jedi before or kind of. I mean, you, kind you of. Chase, you see, Chase. Chase when I was Campbell a lot younger, up. we did. <laughs> we we caught, fought a couple hundred and killed them. <laughs> but there was like a lot of people there, who had guns, and they shot me, and I ran. And I thought you said Jedi don't. Uh, they used lightsabers, not guns. Oh no, there were. He had other people there too. It was when they they uh, raided my temple. Lots of people. It's like a whole army. Oh. I attacked someone yeah. with a rock. Someone so, attacked you with the rock? No, I attacked them. They were taking my stuff. Uh. So I attacked them, grabbed my stuff, and ran. 
Okay, and you don't think you're going to need help from someone who brought an army? You know, the Gorfa seem to have many in their numbers, especially if they're not fighting each other. Mm. Now they have a common enemy. That's, yeah. that's technically their weakness. I don't think they're all Jedi. I'm pretty sure he wants to keep them protected. So I'm pretty sure he yeah. doesn't want to start anything. You guys uh, pure chain chuckle. What are you chuckling about, Chain? Got my first comment. Somebody bitching about us killing an endangered species already. <sighs> um... Their profile. Okay, is so an address. Is a what an address? A heavily modified B1 battle droid an address. Isn't that like I, I look, the I look, the, uh... I look I look again. Uh, Z, are you able to contact attacks? Maybe. I don't think Jane ever met Bia. No, the, you didn't. No, I met. I didn't Pat. either. So I mean, I've yeah. only heard stories of Bia. So. Yeah. I, I, that was oh. Nick asking, not Cora asking. Oh. oh, okay. Well, anyways, I look over at Z. Z, does this droid look familiar to you? Nope. I, like, take off my helmet and, like, please just look at this droid. I've never seen a model. No, I have seen the models like that on the ship. I mean, I've seen lots of droids look like that. Hmm. Hmm. So, so what are you going to talk about with this? The, the, the Gorfa, what, I mean, I, didn't you make yourself pretty clear? Mm, no, he walked away. So what are you going to tell him? Well, like, are you going to, like, rub more, like, sand? I mean, sand is a terrible analogy. Um, shit in his face? I, I don't know. What else do you have to talk to him about? I don't know. Maybe... Fucking Sand, chain walks Sand is away. pretty coarse and rough, so... <laughs> chain walks away to call, uh... Two people. Hey, we might have to fulfill an order again. There's a surviving Jedi on this planet. <laughs> uh, are you, like, actually calling the uh, Bresen Oh, yeah, I've... Yeah, I'm calling Bresen <laughs> Alright. Uh, they would pick up. Uh... You would hear Gear's voice for the first time. I, where are you? Like, for my size, like, your ship ain't far from me, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, you, you might have, we might have to follow the Inquisitor, though. She wants to go talk to a, uh, Tuscan Jedi. <laughs> okay. What does that have to do with us? Uh, part of the raid, the Z. Z told the truth about taking something that they said they'd be willing to help and back us up, and now the plan backfired. What are you expecting, like? Oh, a possible new. I look, make sure Mads are not around. Uh, possible Order sixty six command. We're not, we're, we're not, we're not killing a Jedi just for the sake of killing a Jedi, mate. Like, you know, we left. You know, we got out of the imps for a reason. Yeah, oh yeah, trust me, I, I hate it myself, but this once might actually... You sound kind of excited about it. I'm not kind of excited about this. It's just, with the Inquisitor dead, my mission by Admiral Thrawn at the time, keeping this man, this woman alive, kind of jeopardized that. So if she ends up fighting a bunch of Tuscans and the Jedi, and she dies, well, we can still carry out the mission of raiding the supply line, but I have to deal with the Admiral. Alright, I guess. Not count. Your, We're not killing non-combatants in this, this, in this fire on first, though. Get that? Yep. I understand protocol. You're the high-ranking yeah. officer right now. I mean, I don't think our ranks mean shit anymore. Okay, Whatever. okay, phase one. You're, you're more advanced and more knowledgeable than I am. Experience beats rank any day. Technically phase zero nowadays, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll meet you guys at the ship. Alright, come get us. 
<laughs> I walk right back in. <laughs> so, what are you going to talk yeah, to those, yeah. uh, the that Gorpa Z? Guess, I don't know, probably right now. I mean, I still think this is a bad idea. That we should just leave and just let him be. Oh, well, I'm going to go with myself. I don't want you guys to come. Why don't you want us to come? It might scare him off. Right, but, like, mm. you're probably, like, we're not going to scare him off. The most likely person that will scare him off is probably you. Mm. Not us. I don't think I'll scare him off. I think I'll scare I him off. I look for Liliana. I look for Liliana. Liliana, stop, stop Z. <laughs> Before she gets killed. Uh, Z, your, your uh, little area section's locked off, right? Because that's where she yeah, is currently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, put her, like, I told her to go in there while I go do this. I already told her I'm going. She's playing with her toy, yeah. 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 Fine. I mean, if you go, I mean, you're telling us you're going, but you haven't ordered us to stay here. I mean, if I'm not back in an hour or two or something, I don't know how long it takes to get there. Just come get me, I guess. Z, would have you specifically ordered Invisibot to stay behind too? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go on behind. Okay. He's gonna go talk to this guy and come back. I look, I look at Cora, and just come on, Cora. I'm gonna go apologize real quick to this droid. You got an I uh, I look at uh, Z and just like you got an hour before I come looking for you. Okay. I guess I'll go let her do her thing then. I go hop on the speeder, wherever my speeder is. Should be in the. Yeah. Right there. I hop on the beast. The beast. That's the name of my speeder. <laughs> I, I look at Cora before walking any, any for, further. So, how much time did you give Z? Because I'm giving her 30 minutes. I told her an hour. She said an hour. You guys are aware that Z probably won't be where, like, the guy is in, That's what I was thinking. in that period of time. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. yeah. I, I would was be like, I, I'm going to give her the time that it takes to get there, yeah, yeah. and then start a timer, and then in an hour, check in. If there's no check-in, then I'm, I'm going. That's... I, I'm, I'm just letting, letting her, ha uh, let her handle... But she'll be nearby doing stuff until it's time to go check in, you know? How far away is this? A good while. How far is a good while? Did we just walk from there? No. No, no you guys <laughs> You guys took speeders and then had to ditch those speeders through the Chunland Wastes, walk through there for a bit, uh, and then, you know, actually found where I presume we're trying to meet. So this guy just came. He, so this guy just came walking up all this distance to come check on us and left. I mean, we we went out there, and then we uh, were wandering around for a while. Yeah. Yeah, we were wandering around for a while before he approached us and then took us to his village. But yeah. still, it was still kind of like meandering through the desert. Sure, but then we lie there. Uh, no, we didn't. We had to walk. We walked, like, we ditched the speeders. We walked the trail that Corrin, that Chain found. And then the Jedi met us. We stopped, and then he took us the rest of the way. And then on the way out, we found our speeders and stuff, and they showed us where the crate Dragon was. What if I get Liliana to drop me off? She flies over with a little ship, and I just jump out. Fly down. Well, I'm done, I fly back up. I mean, I suppose that'll work. Where are you trying to go? Uh, to the spot we met him before, where it was like the hurricane, where the, the sandstorm was. A little meditation place or something like that, I don't know. Okay. I let the force guide me. <laughs> okay. To some force place, where he probably hangs out. The okay. Jedi bar. Okay, well, before we do that, let's handle Chain trying to apologize to R2Y7. 
I, I, I kind of give them a prep, prep talk beforehand. All right. Now, don't say anything derogatory. Just say, uh, I forget the droid's name. B2 or 7? Is that it? R2 Y7, sorry. All right, just say. R2 R Yeah, a little R2 unit. Don't even say little. Just say R2 unit. I want to apologize for my transgressions previously. Let us start anew. I don't like us fighting on a ship where we have to, like, just just make it more about you being sorry, not him being aggressive. You, you were trying to shift the blame, not on either one side, but, you know, you got to... You gotta give a little if he's gonna give a little. Got it? So if you start saying mean things, it's gonna be dead in the water anyways. And that's like you not even trying. Because even I can go up to someone and give them a half-assed, you know, apology and insult them and then just say, oh, well, it didn't work. So if you if you want the booze, you're gonna really have to work for it. I, I look over. I look back at Cora. Look over. I swear, if I do the right thing, and I apologize correctly and sincerely, and I get zapped. See, I see, want... you don't understand. If you still get zapped after sincerely apologizing and actually like trying to start anew with the the, the droid, then you're not at fault. The droid is just going to be the way he is at that point. You know, why? You just that would be like us trying to change how Z is. Didn't you guys try to change that Ibar person? I don't know who the fuck Ibar is, so I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. What's an Ibar? <gasps> I look over I look over at Rhea. Did Z and them try to change this Ibar person? Yep, I did too. Failed miserably and she's just like sorting through some shit over there. Got crushed under so, a mountain. He said it's always sunny. Yeah. Anyways, I look back over at R2 Y stomach. Hey, buddy. He immediately spins around with his with his shock prod out. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm just. I, I'm here what do you want? To, I'm here to apologize. I think we got onto the wrong foot. And if I did something to cause this aggression, I'd like to know what I can do to fix it. Hmm. Where's the other guy? <laughs> uh, you mean Matt? He's cleaning his weapons and about to go take care of Tiny down there and take them their daily food. Why? You want Get him in here. Too? Yeah. I contacted him. <laughs> I, I thought that was bad. <laughs> to get up here. So. Okay. Uh, okay, R2, he's right here. His shock his shock prod goes away, but then his little grabber arm comes out, reaches, un reaches under a little table, and grabs out a holdout blaster that he points at you guys. Take off your fucking helmets! <laughs> <laughs> now! <laughs> I whisper to Cora, Cora! He's. Look, he's fine. You act like you didn't just survive a giant 30 ton reptile that spilled like a uh, corrosive acid out of his fucking face. I, I think an R2 unit with a small holdout pistol is. is Cora, you're gonna be okay. Cora, our helmets are reinforced armor. You'll be fine. Don't worry. I got plenty of like, like uh, it may not look like it, but I know proper uh, triage. So don't worry about it. And besides, we got the the, the tanks. So you're fine. Just don't worry about it. Just non aggressively take off your helmets. It's a simple uh, request. I, I look around, Mad. Mad, you wait just in case. I take off my helmets. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is the trick you've been following the whole time. You keep swapping suits with whoever the fucks under that helmet, and. I don't get it. Both, okay, both helmets Matt. off now. <laughs> okay, Mad. Take off your helmets. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Once, once uh, Mad all sticks off his helmet, and he, and, like you see, that you guys look the same. <laughs> the droid's just like pointing, like pointing back and forth between you two. 
What kind of hologram is this? <laughs> hold up, hold up. I sit there like, okay, so now he's not just, he's not being hostile. I understand everything now. Wait till he meets her other two brothers. Yeah, well, he's a mentor. Like, uh, <laughs> like, like, clue him in. Like, he might not know what the fuck you are. Just tell him. Like, why, why keep him in the dark? And, like, you no. Know, like, I sit down this time. Like, I cross my legs and everything. I sit down at height level with Art. <laughs> just like, no. Explain this. Explain this now. This doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay. Do you know what cloning is? No. Okay. We. All, as far we, as I can tell, you're both just fucking white, and now you're both fucking brown under there. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't make Rhea, sense. How do you Rhea, look the same? Rhea, <laughs> he's being racist towards the skin it, it, color. Just, just, he's not. He's making an observation. It's fine. He's. <laughs> they are distraught. Use your compassion to kind of bridge the gaps between them. Like, you're making I, progress. This is progress. He hasn't initially shot you or shocked you. I, this is progress. For, for a... We're used to dealing... I'm used to commanding clones. I'm not yeah. that compassionate. You know, he's like, we're teaching an old dog new tricks, okay? Look, just, just use your words and be like, explain it to him. Okay. So, I, I look over the protocol droids. So do you think we can uh, upload uh, a small screen holographically so I can explain what cloning is and what clones were during the Cold War <laughs> at this you, point in time? You don't even need that. Look, just use simple words. See, like R2 unit, if there was another identical R2 unit that with, you know, the exact same manufacturer codes and IDs and even like the same kind of like you know, uh, AI processor as you, but wasn't you? That's what these guys are. Cora, it's, Cora, it's, no, 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 no. I hear what you're saying, but that doesn't make sense. I'm a droid. You can build another one of me. They're a person. Doesn't make sense. See, see, some really weird people long ago thought that they could do the same thing that they do with droids, but with people, and then I, I just point to them as like, and change its waves. Did they disassemble a person, carve them into the right shapes, dye them, and put them back together? I, I this time I answered. Yeah, no, I was gonna say you probably we know were, about this a little bit more. <laughs> we were grown in tubes. We had a donor who gave up their DNA to be. Cloned. How the fuck you grow in a tube? Oh, easy. Uh, ooh. Uh, easy. Ooh. Uh. Hey, Cora, I need you to call Kamina real quick. I'm not calling no one. Just, I, you can do this without I, any... I, 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 it, it's like, Cora, I have to have... Video. No, explain I, I, to me. Is there tubes where babies come from? Uh, you know, I know where little droids come from. <laughs> well, okay. So when two humans, a man and a woman, like each other so much, a baby goes inside a fallopian tube into the womb... <laughs> Waits nine months, it comes out again. Okay. But is everybody different? How, how, how do you make two of them? That are exactly there, the same. Like you two. Are, unless unless you're fucking with me. Called, no, there are things called twins, biologically. We're just mass-produced uh, uh, twins. Oh, wait, uh, I get I get Okay. I, I... <laughs> you like lowers his plaster a little that, bit. That, that's okay. a, that's a, I, actually get, a really good analogy. Get, you... <laughs> You, you two, you two, and those other two that you mentioned that I presume are going to be showing up, you're all twins. You all, you all, you all just happen to pop out the same way, and then like, you you decided to get the same armor scheme. Okay, I get it now. Good, um, good. It's not just the four of us. There's, I, if I'm not mistaken, there's about a couple thousand of us left still alive. Okay. Damn, your guys' mom was a hoe. <laughs> Not the reaction I was expecting, uh, but okay. Progress, okay. okay. So, can we put our helmets back on? <laughs> uh, sure. Okay. So, so now you understand that their frustration is probably. <laughs> or real quick. Uh, right, right before Matt puts his helmet like back on when he just has it, you know, in his hands. Uh, R two shoots it and leaves a small like scorch mark. Like, it was just a glancing shot. Leaves a small scorch mark. Now I can tell you apart. <laughs> and, I, and look at R2. Our helmets are completely different. Looks from one to the other. They are now. 
And my, I, and I looked at it, and I was like, and my armor is different. <laughs> like, uh, it's like, like, uh, and you know what? Um, Tandy is sitting right there next to them, and she, she sort of, there's a part of her that wants to badly explain that droids do not understand the difference of humans as much that people think they do. But you know what? She's getting a little bit of enjoyment out of it, so she's just gonna sit there, not say a word because she, because it's how it does what explain is like I'm sorry to us. We're just like we're almost pretty much identical unless you have something different about you. We're all meat bags to many droids. We all look the same. It's not y'all look the same. He knew who exactly I was. <laughs> or they? No. Sorry. Yeah, but that's what, like, Tandy, like, Tandy knows exactly. Well, yeah, you're like, easy to spot. Board. Four. You, got, you have four you arms. Four arms. <laughs> don't wear a helmet. And... I, I mean, I have an easier solution than, you know, just the scorch mark. I mean, it shouldn't take very hard, but I can just kind of make a digital signature for you guys. For So while you're in the ship, that it should, you know, like, whenever they look at you, they have, like, a little like HUD display and it says your name or, you know, some kind of designation so they can tell you apart. That should I have, clear up any I confusion. Have, I still have the Grand Republic tattoo on the top right side of my forehead. Yeah, yeah. Look, I, 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 I get that. And he has to put in yeah, this time. I can't see that while your helmets are on. <laughs> it's because I've been trained by the military to keep this on unless I'm off duty and apparently we are never off duty till we're asleep. Well, and well, maybe take a break. <laughs> what are those? Like, Chain's being serious. What is a break at this point in time? We never had breaks. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I get breaks. Do you guys not get breaks? Damn, that sucks. I mean... They do. They just consider their break time as as just unpaid leave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I look over at Rhea. Rhea, you... As you as a, just a pilot, uh, did you have breaks? She fucking shacked a Gorfa. Of course she has breaks. Yeah, I have breaks. I okay. mean, I don't work for the Empire anymore. I'm technically on Z's payroll. But, yeah, yeah it, that you're part of the Imperial still, but you only answer to Z, correct? No, I'm technically private now. Oh. So yeah, so you have all the free time. But back in the Imperial faction, were you... Did you have proper breaks? Or were I wasn't you a stormtrooper, and yes, okay. I, I did get breaks. Okay. I look back at Cora. Take Cora, off my helmet or anything, but yeah. Like, yeah, see? That was a downfall to that. Fucking stuffy in here. I can still take a break, though. <laughs> so, you're telling me... I pilot gear, so it's like ventilation. But... When you and Mad spent copious amounts of time with Lorray making a potato gun... You thought that that was during work hours. Uh, yeah. Let me tell you, I, if I were your supervisor, I would have fired you for negligence of time. Well, the Imperial Army is not going to fire stormtroopers who are maintaining weapons and or test, testing weapons for the Imperial Army. You'd be surprised, they do! Oh, wait, We've had oh, wait, 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 did, up, did, had a couple of did, uh... Up. Did the Emperor, like, fuck your mom so that he made thousands of you so that you guys, like, uh, were his army? Is that, is that where all the stormtroopers come? They all look the same to me, too. No, um, and what... those, those stormtroopers weren't clones. Those ones were recruited regular people like Rhea. The clones, we were... Well, Rhea's not a stormtrooper. She was Say, just Rhea, Rhea, do all the other pilots look like you under their helmets? No, I7. See? <laughs> I'm, I'm getting to the point of who our father really is. He was a Mandalorian bounty hunter. Okay. So the Emperor paid him to fuck your mom and make thousands of you? Yes. Uh, more like <laughs> Alright, got it. Got it. Candy's <laughs> over the side trying not to lose it and she's doing very well for herself. She's just it looks like she's praying. 
You you I, got I, the I main message across. I look back at our team. More like millions of us. Actually, about a couple tens of millions, actually. Damn. Yeah, I remember this R2-D2 model back in the day. It's R2 model. D2 would well, be the designator for them. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Really crazy droid under a uh, General Skywalker. I don't know who the hell that is. Oh, best Jedi com general ever throughout the entire Clone War. <laughs> Mine is Flo uh, My brother's... My brothers loved Flo Koon, and then those of us, the 501st, loved General Skywalker. Were, weren't you on the transmitter five minutes ago saying that you had to kill a Jedi? <laughs> uh, don't get us wrong, there were Wait, Jedis that we liked. Why, why, why did, what, what, what did you do? Nothing, R2, be quiet, I'll explain more later about how it, how we look alike. Nah, 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 you said, you said you were going to kill a Jedi, like... <laughs> I was listening on the transmitter like I always do. Just for safety. Uh, By the way, were, were those other guys you're talking to? Were those the uh, were those the other things that came out of your mom? Yeah. The ones that look exactly like you. Yes. There's one kind of will resemble you, sort of now. I don't. That's say what now? Just, uh, say yeah, what? I was gonna say back it up. Uh, they're not gonna resemble. It's just they have. Pro, uh, Your mom voice. gave birth to a dr um, Oh my no, god. Uh, I thought we were manufactured. <laughs> no, no. Um, his human organs got replaced with cybernetics. Are we brothers now? Uh, He's half <laughs> Does that make you my stepbrother? <laughs> you know what? We give you we give you some better arm modifications, some heavy blasters, a better targeting system. Why would I need no. that? To fully be a brother. You're fit for combat, and you won't fear anybody. I don't think so. I'm an R2 unit. I'm very much not fit for combat. I'm pretty sure I'd, probably, I'd be better off just piloting a fighter. I don't know. That R2-D2 unit, the stories and the video footages of him burning droids alive with oil and fire were pretty Cor epic. Coronate kind of like pantomimes to Rhea. Back in my day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, 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 that big-ass, um... um that other droid that was here earlier in the past. What, what was its name? Uh, you're referring to Betty. No, 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 not that one. Uh, uh, Santa? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I did that to him. Hmm. Yeah, that R2 unit used to burn B1, some B2 supers, other <laughs> R2 models. Just during combat times, so I'm not sure if he's still alive. I need to check in on that. Okay. Hell, if I can get my hands on that R2 unit, I don't think if the stories were true, I don't think his memory's ever been wiped. Okay. Why should I care yeah. about this? Why? I, I leaned over Rhea. We can go to so many new places right now. We can get a whole lot more spices and trade systems going. I gotta wait for Z to get back. I mean, I look at the time. We should probably be going anyways to go get Z. <laughs> How long has it been, though? Yeah. How long do you guys want it to have been? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I gave I gave Z a 30-minute timer. <laughs> or I gave an hour. Let's see how long it takes for the conversation to have really said what, what time it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, additionally, Cora, throughout, like, after, when Chain begins reminiscing about some old droid from 20 years ago, uh, you take it a gl another glance at uh, R2-Y7 and notice a certain little uh, data chip sticking out of one of his ports with, with a, little, like, a little note wrapped around it that says, Drunk Program. How did he get that? What? Uh, um, uh, R two unit. Um, where did you get that chip? <laughs> you gave this to me. He's <laughs> <laughs> just like, did I? <laughs> uh, how how is that working for you? 
Nice. Nice. <laughs> okay, well, um, we'll consider that a, a success, I guess. Uh, uh, Tandy, you see that chip there? And I kind of point out the chip. Yeah. It was an experiment I had that maybe we can simulate the effects of being drunk and under the effects of, you know, inebriation uh, mm-hmm. to uh, you, you droids who can't do so. So we made like a, a virus per se. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you're interested, but uh, I guess it's. I mean, I can see the possibilities. <laughs> we could definitely use them. I'd, I'd be interested to see what chip, how chicks reacts. Oh, on one hand, that would be great. On the other hand, he might actually murder all of us in our sleep. It might be funny. He might be like the the tender drunk, the very like I love you guys. If we do this, we would. And then she, is she like, is she has Ria coming closer. Fucking chain hears this. Like we can give it to Buzz. <laughs> and no, she, as she she whispered this to Tandy, like making sure, like at like like we have to make sure to lock his memories while we're locked in this. But yeah, sense. but we'll, we'll keep it for whenever, like like leverage. <laughs> yes. And what are you guys talking about? Not not, not, not you. It. Nothing. Well, I'm glad you're liking it. Just don't drink and drive. Yes, I'm gonna side check against you guys. I'm looking at them like. Oh yeah. Uh, Fucking. (laughs) That's a (laughs) twenty-six. All right then. Eh. <laughs> uh, I totally for I. Whew. Well, it's good to know that little piece of tech works. <laughs> yeah, so making identity chips for them for like the robots to be able to distinguish you guys, or uh, is robots the correct term? Anyways, hey, it should be we're boring. not robots. They're That's droids. really mean. No, I'm sorry. Wait. <laughs> Nick is having a blunder, is it? Do they prefer... Droids are droids, droids. because they're sentient. Robots are... Right, droids. okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Core would know this. Nick is just having a blunder, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Droids. Uh, <clears throat> so that the droids on the ship can recognize you two that, you know, have trouble. That'd be fucking, nice. I fucking leave. <laughs> That'd be nice. I look at Madden once we put our helmets and leave. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get rid of that scuff mark. Yeah. <laughs> Before uh, Cora leaves, like, so are you two going to play nice now that you know he's not trying to just trick you all the time? I get him, I get him, mom whore. Produce thousands, millions of babies for Empire. They all look the same. You can twins. imagine the kind of trauma that kind of goes with that. So just cut them some slack, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I don't know why they're all dressed the same, though. Like, they really come out that similar. Incredibly. You, you'll be surprised when you see the other ones. I mean, a guide from, like, battle scarring, I'm sure that they look... I hear that they even have the same taste. I know taste is a hard concept, but anyways. Yeah, yeah. All um, right, well, like I said, so, don't drink and drive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, like as, as you're leaving, like, Rhea's walking over, like, come on, my seven, you really shouldn't be on that all the time. And and, and just, like, <laughs> as as you're closing the door, uh, actually, no, as you're closing the door, just, like, as you're in the doorway, uh, you just hear Y7 scream, you'll never take this from me! And just the whole the whole room instantaneously fills with thick gray smoke, and then and you hear like Rhea coughing, and when the smoke clears, he's just gone. You don't know where he is. <laughs> Did he, I'm out of character. Did he just pull a fucking Darkwing Duck? I I think. He no, he's 
He, cast he, his... he is the imposter. <laughs> He's in the <laughs> ventilation. You're the imposter. You got looks like. <coughs> 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 I yell at R2Y7, hey, quit clanking in the duck! <laughs> or Tandy, Mouse is probably in the duck, she's one of the two droids. Like, she hears, like, a, like, how, is it a heavy clank, clank, clank? Or is it a, like, a light clank, clank, clank? I don't hear anything. Like... I'm hearing something. <laughs> Open the door and there. Yeah, like Cora, the as you, as as you're like walking out, when you get to about here, uh, you notice that this closet is open and the vent in there. It's like, uh, well, there's the source of that noise. Uh, chain was that that chain was he hearing as you see R2Y7 like face down, trying to ram his way into a vent, <laughs> but he but his head doesn't fit. His legs and head don't fit. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> Just close the door. <laughs> Who am I to deny someone this pleasure? <laughs> Haven't seen him. I wasn't in there. Don't worry about it. Just... Like, let him try to be Batman. Let him try to be a Batman. Shane, Shane goes to the door and opens the door and looks out to see where the other two are. Uh, yeah. You wouldn't... <coughs> ah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. There, there. Uh, yeah. So, you don't see anybody walking up. Rather, you hear a... And and then just suddenly, with, the, with a loud clank of his metallic legs, uh... Gear just kind of lands down in front of you, and he's holding Prez like in a bridal carry. Ah. Ah. It's about time. How was hey. the flight, Prez? <laughs> Boring. <laughs> we'll get you a jetpack one day. Hey, I don't need it. Probably just likes to be hug hugged that way. Yeah, why is he in a jetpack? I, I look over at Gear. Gear, I, I feel uncomfortable. I had to explain to an RT unit why we all look the same. Look the same. But all right, right then. Oh, question. How do you taste alcohol now? I've always wanted to know. I, I don't. What if we gave you a virus that could help? This no! Like... No, thank you! Well, damn. I kinda enjoy my... my internals being free of that shit. Hmm. I can't exactly eat normal food either, so... True. True. I tried to explain to that RT unit as well that I have a brother that has cybernetics enhancements to them, so kind of in between a droid and a human, and he asked if that made him our, our stepbrother. Alright. That's one weird ass droid you got. You might want to get that thing's memory wiped. I look back at Korra. Huh, that's what I said too. He'll be fine. Chances are, with that program, he might not remember it. But uh, anyways, I looked down. I don't, I don't know what time we would have done wasted, like talking wise. So I'm waiting for a thirty minute marker. So what's Z doing? So yep, let's go to Z. Uh, Z, having taken uh, your shuttle with Liliana, um, she airdrops you. In, she basically airdrops you into the easiest place to get to. Uh, that's as cl you know, closest to. Uh, the place where you first met that one Gorfa. <clears throat> the sands are calm. There is not a storm like there was last time, even though it is getting into the night. 
I'm doing the form. Or I'll go back to his village. You want to try to find the way to his village? Yeah, let's go down the path he took us. Okay. I'm going to require a survival check. A what? A survival check. Oh. Um, I'll probably just go with the ship. The ship can't land to where the village was. Yeah, you can drop me. But it's better for me getting like randomly lost in the jungle. Oh, so that's what you mean by airdrop. You wanted the ship to fly over where the village was and you drop out. Yeah. And that's when Dan DeVito pops up, and then I started blasting. Not just the men. <laughs> Are you sure you want to drop into the middle of his village that is not friendly to you? Oh, not near it. Okay. In the canyon, or not in the canyon? Some place where they can see me, where I can, like, talk to them from a distance so I'm not, like, just charging at them. So the top of the canyon. <laughs> sure. So a good several hundred feet. <laughs> yeah, but they would know that I'm here. I mean, you can find yeah, they probably would have gotten that from yeah, the yeah. ship. Yeah. What's this guy's name? You don't know. Nobody ever asked. Jedi guy. Did they? These guys have seen me, right? Didn't we like hang out with him at his at his camp? Not exactly hang out. Thought we were on the fire. Yes, they have it. seen you. Okay, making sure. They're not like who the fuck? Yeah, okay. So Sure we didn't ask? Let me check some of the older things. I thought I had asked. Uh, I know we talked about the race. I, yeah. You learned the race name, you didn't learn his yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, his name. The Gorfo, yeah. Let me see, let me see, let me see. So are you just, like, standing there, basically, until no, someone no, comes go, up there? Yeah, I go out and just yell, like, hey, is Jedi around? As you look down into, like, down there, as you're yelling this and it echoes throughout the, uh, throughout the Canyon Valley, uh... You hear some... Eh, make me a perception. Actually, no, what's your passive? This isn't something you're actively looking for, so... My passive is... 19. Like... Yeah, yeah, you, you can... You don't know the Tuscan language, but... But, like, as you... <clears throat> you hear, you know, you hear some, uh kind of panicked yelling. Is it, you're able to tell it's panicked yelling, even in the, the separate language. You okay? Do I see something wrong? Uh, yeah, yeah, you see like a few people pointing you, like pointing you out on the canyon ledge and shit. Hi. Yeah, um, I guess I'd eventually just go down there. <laughs> no, 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 no need to. Uh, you see, like, you see, like, one or two people are like whipping out cycler rifles and like aim aiming them at you, but like not firing. Okay. Uh, before, oh, yeah, I'm before you hear a voice speak behind you, why do you return? You were not welcome here. Yeah, I know. I wanted to talk to you. You're being rude. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Got to talk what do you have to say? So, what's this uh, pearl thing for? What, what do you need this thing again? 
It is very important to my people. Is it? Why is that? What does it do? Well, its abilities are extraordinary. It's many uses. To them, it is a matter of significance. So Religion. You, weren't, you weren't going to leave it, then you were going to use it. We were not going to use it, no. Okay, wait, then why does the first part matter? It does not. Hmm. So you were just going to worship it? Less worship it, use it to keep memory. If that is a way to explain it, I am. Like, is this wait? Is this when not, you say memory? Do you mean like, like a philosophical memory thing? Like you're gonna see it, and remember things, or is it like magical? And it's gonna like remember stuff for you. Or force power, remember stuff. A religious symbol. Oh. The great, the great crate dragons of this of this world are the most dangerous and feared creature of it. And one of the most... Does that mean I'm more dangerous and feared than it? Hardly. Maybe. Yeah, I probably am, now that I think about it. They are sacred to my people. Oh, you guys are one fall... My people are still superstitious, but I care for them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just making sure. But, um... And I just wanted to say you and your, in your violation of the deal, I saw it as a, as you spitting in my face. So I, I didn't technically violate the deal. I kind of just tricked you a bit, but it was a little bit dishonest for me. Therefore, yes. I was but, to say. but, you didn't even bother to talk to me to tell me that. Did you tell me what? What? Uh, okay, this is. What do you mean exactly? And out of character. <laughs> you just said you didn't you didn't talk to me to even tell me that that it was dishonest. Okay. Um I was angry. I simply wished to leave. I considered myself a fool for assuming that you would not tr trick me in some way. Yeah, he like kind of straightens up, like stands up, like cracks a knuckle pick and says, "Like, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna drop this. Look, I'm not that stupid, but I play myself as very stupid, and um, you didn't even bother to tell the stupid girl the mistake she made. Thought you Jedi's were all about like teaching or doing good or something like that." Yes. Like you were too blind to those... me being like dark side and not by like... you being of the dark side by my own foolishness mm. I was angry at myself mm. why is that I already explained for assuming that I would just automatically do something because for I assuming didn't... that you would hold up your end with no caveats. Hmm. Without discussing things uh, properly. Or better. Without strings attached. Yeah. I do. I, I don't even really want the little crystal thing. You can either. put it however way you want. You were the one who did wrongdoing. In oh, yeah, case. yeah. I did wrong. I know that. I'm saying if you guys really need it, I can give it back. I don't really need it. I was taking because it was money, and I mean, if it, rather just sit there and do nothing, or we get some good to help us do what we want to do. But if you're gonna, we planned a shrine for when for when the beast passed, at the site of its death. A holy site. I would appreciate its return. Sure. All of that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All of... All of them? What? He gestures down to his village. Oh, I thought you meant all of them return. Okay, you mean... You're talking about your people, not the stones. I'm like, I only got one. But, uh, yeah. 
And I would hope then, I guess, you would keep up your end of the bargain. I don't really know how much you could have to help. I don't, my, I don't think my I need people to. will be more reluctant, but. Mm, I you sure you want your people Despite to your deception. Are they able to fight? I don't want them to die. It was like people, right? It's not special. They were. happy to help remove a potential threat from our land. Mm. But when they, and I do not keep things from them, so, and I would not force this upon them either, so I doubt that they would want to join upon this, so. Mm. But I will. But do know, it is still probably not in your best interest to travel the Jumland Wastes. I got a ship. Let's fly over it. But what, what, why would I travel it? I do not know. Why would you travel it? Mm -hmm. I even didn't want to get lost anyway, so I'm glad I didn't walk here. Um, but yeah, I'll go get you your gym and bring it back, I guess. You can do whatever you want with it. goes to the back on the ship, flies back, like, lands. I guess everyone, like, hears Z coming back or something, and then, like, she leaves again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna like, say... I'm gonna say it's on the ship. Make it easy. I'm gonna say it's on the ship. Z brought it with her. Yeah, 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 yeah. He brought it with her. Oh, yeah. He's kept it on the ship. Yeah. So she goes and grabs Yeah, it. yeah. I guess, like, uh... Yeah, as he handed, as he handed to him. Uh, uh, like, he... Like, he... Like he does not touch it just yet. Mm -hmm. Rather, he uh, is kind of holding it in front of him, like levitating it with the force. Mm -hmm. I must ask a question. Yeah, is it yet to touch the stars? What does that even mean? Have you taken it to space? Uh, no. Good. Why? Daring to touch the stars is a powerful tether. What? Like the, for a gym or for you or? For anything. I know not why they hold. Why they yeah, do you know what? Never mind. I don't even want to. It just it just makes things more confusing to me. Oh, yeah. oh, I hold you at no fault for such for such thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. An I'm outsider to the culture, I do not expect to understand. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna let you guys be you. But I do, I do understand why you like the little guys, though. She pulls out her stuff down the wall. It's like, uh, you want this little guy? He just uh, holds his hand, holds his hand out gently. No, thank you. Like I don't need him anymore. I know how you guys like these guys. So does he take it or is he? No, no, he, he declined. Are you sure? I'm fine. Yes. Okay, put it back in the bag. Like, good. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna leave you go. I don't know when we're gonna do whatever we need to do. I'm gonna go talk to the group. Do you have a way to call you or something? Yes. He like uh, kind of like reaches into his robe, uh, just kind of fumbling around uh, for something. He pulls out what looks to be a pretty old, decrepit holocom, but still looks functional. Yeah. You wouldn't, you wouldn't happen to have, you wouldn't happen to have a battery, would you? I haven't had to use this uh, yeah, in many I got, years. It's the same thing for like my rocket boots or whatever. Yeah, sure. Okay. Extra shuttle power cell. Something like that. Yeah, I had one. Thank you. I'll let you know whenever we're ready, or whenever we decide on everything. People should have been here. 
Yeah. I'll call you in. As he just leaves. Yeah. Lillian picks you back up. He just watches as you go. I guess this is the part where Chank leaves a message for Z. 30 minutes or up, I'm on my way. I'm on my way back, that little bitch. Also, by the way, it took me so much like when he reached into the road not to do that that stupid tip that made <gasps> He's pulling his cock out <laughs> <laughs> I don't nope. I don't think I've ever that's, seen that one. <laughs> no. That's that's very important to his culture, so no. <laughs> I know, that's why I'm like my mind, why I thought why did my mind just go to that tick tick tock I mean he's a Jedi, not a Jedi are not celibates. No, no, that's because it's a Tuscan thing, not a Jedi thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To to Tuscans to expose your flesh to another uh, who is not your mate or your child who you have just given birth to is completely abhorrent. I I just thought like, why is it okay to pull your dick out on your child? What? It's like, oh wait, it's using whole flesh. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I'm sorry. I, I that's why yeah, yeah. I needed to you just given birth to basically. You know. It's the only times Tuscans ever take off the robes when they're fucking or when they're giving birth. Mm. Look at Bez and Gear be like, hey, do you know where I can get some old clone commando uh helmet modifications for the night vision? And or the thermal vision. Neither of us are commandos, mate. I know, but I, you guys got more connections right now than I do. You'd probably have to ask Cold about that. Uh, I mean, how about you ask them the real relevant question, Chain? Can we get you oh. something to drink? He can't drink. Uh, I didn't I say alcohol. I was like... Chef, make a double batch. <laughs> I was gonna say he can't eat. I, I point at gear. He can't eat or drink. That's yeah, I unless eat. he has some nutritional slop, I'm good. I mean, I'm sure the vet days got some. They were force feeding whatever kind of. Uh... Oh yeah, the uh, <laughs> I forgot about them because <laughs> we kept one heavily sedated for three months. <laughs> See, I'm good. You, you know what? It's, you know, they say that some things are better left unsaid. Yeah. I, I, I look over at Gear and Brez. Uh, we had some transdotions that were interfering with a, a peace treaty and an agreement between the Empire and a um, the separatist droid. Uh, Remnants. They were kind of being law peaceful towards everybody. They accepted the Clone Wars were over, like we have. But uh, yeah, they had some imposter turned out to be some Trandoshans using. Uh... Oh. Y you can stop at any time. Yeah, you really can. Uh, I'm gonna go get a good drink real quick. Like. Uh, right before you go, Nick. Oh. See. So, uh, as you're talking to them, Chain, you hear banging on that on a closet door over there. Before R2Y7 stumbles out, like falling face first, before like, uh, like using his his, his like old booster to set himself back up. As he just as looks over there and says. Those two don't look like you! <laughs> Did he say, those two don't look like you? Yes. <laughs> I look at Bryce. Bryce, could you remove your helmets? Uh, yeah. Bryce removes his helmet. And... It's a man of white guy. Uh, this one is. My mind's kind of hard to take off. 
it's kind of a little thing. It's okay, Gear. I look back over at the R2. This is the brother who's part droid. I mean, it's cyborg. I was about to say, doesn't the I I, I got life readings on him. Not not droid. Are you two just done for words? It's just like, hmm, yeah. where to go from here? It's like, yeah, yeah, like, 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 Gear just kind of like leans in. What the hell is this? Like, what, what I, was going on with this whole shit? <laughs> I, I, I uh, lean back over to Gear. Um, so you remember how I said we could probably give you a, a like a virus so you could have the days where you want to feel drunk with everybody? That you gave it to that droid. I, I didn't give it. I think he took it. Because I don't think it was ready yet. Alright. Here. Was ready. Give, give me a sec. Give me that needle a little. And, and then uh, suddenly the room is filled with smoke again as Y7 disappears again. What the? I yell. Uh, uh, g give me like two minutes. I'll hear him fall again or hit a certain place in the vents. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. It's the whole ordeal. Yeah. We can't, we can't catch him once he d does that. That's why I'm kind of needed thermal and night vision. Yeah, I I'm pretty surprised for for a slightly bigger droid. He moves really fast. Anyways, uh, Z should be back by now. I think we're supposed to be meeting with yeah, uh, somebody the else. I have returned. And I have saved the day. Everything is fine. We are all cool. So, so where's the pearl? I gave it back to them because they wanted it for stupid religious reasons. I mean, that, that thing's worth a lot of money. Meh. We better get a lot back from this spice raid than that pearl would have given us. We get a lot back all the time. I think maybe maybe the Jedi dies and he doesn't need the pearl anymore. Who knows? But I don't want to have to fight a whole tribe of people to get a pearl okay. that we fought a crate dragon for. Don't fight a group of people. Uh, what's going on, mate? I killed the Kray Dragon, it dropped the pearl, and then we gave it to the Tuscans to worship. Okay. What exactly is the issue? Uh -huh. I think he wants the pearl to sell it. So I said maybe if they die in the fight, then you can just get the pearl. Was it? Is there an issue? Why would they have it with them? Oh, what are you doing with like, money? But anyway, where do, what do I do with all my money? Yeah, why do you keep needing more and more money? What are you buying? Because I buy parts to make ammunition and explos explosives, plus I have to maintain our weapons. Um, we don't wield a lightsaber. I see what the you're an infinite loop of money. You spend money to buy ammo, to shoot things, to get money, to spend money, to get ammo, to shoot things, to make money. And I see how it is. Yeah. Okay, so you have fun with that. I invested in property. Anyone want tea and coffee and... Snacks. I do. I look over at Cora. You owe me alcohol, by the way. Why? What did I? I don't owe you alcohol. You didn't get tased. 
No, you said if I did it correctly, I'd get alcohol. No, 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 no. You said that if it still tased you, that I had to buy you alcohol. Uh, and then Shane just holds off for a little bit. I'm gonna try without Matt helping me, so let me do that real quick. Yeah, uh... I'm, I'm listening. Like... I'm listening for that droid to land again. <laughs> yeah, uh, Brad... Uh, Brad's would raise his hand over towards the car. One over here. Uh, coffee. One side. Try... He's, he's got like a... <laughs> like a flight of coffees, like from medium, uh, like light, medium to dark, and then, you know, teas and all the stuff, just like, try the dark side. It's it's rich and decadent. All right, thanks. <laughs> it takes a cup of the dark side. <laughs> good, while, while, good. While, <laughs> while, while good. taking gear to the dead bay to get their uh, nutrient supplements, basically, the test tube food, listening for R2. As you walk away, it's like, if you chase him, and just to get zapped, I'm not gonna give you alcohol. That's not what we agreed upon. Uh, no, no. This is to get that chip back. Uh, just leave him alone. What is, is, is he hurting you? He, he's like the drunk guy that's just, you know, messing around. If, until he does, like, real harm to you or someone, it's, it's, just let him be. He still shot at Matt's helmets. While drunk. Gotta give it to him. I mean, if he could hit... <laughs> I mean, man, he wasn't that far away, but still. <laughs> uh, yeah, Chain. As as you're walking down that hallway, you just, you just begin to hear. <laughs> and then as, as you look, as you, as you go down, open up this door... <laughs> on, on the other side, at the very end of the hallway, you just you just see R two Y seven just ramming into this door repeatedly. <laughs> I fuck with him at this point. I activate my entire stealth field generator and just sneak up on him. You can take. You can guess that you probably don't need that. <laughs> he probably isn't concerned with anything else right now. Yeah, eventually he just, like, bumps into you, doesn't even notice you, just keeps slamming into the oh, door. <laughs> then, uh, do I see where it, that thing is out showing that he has the chip in them? It's on his front, which is the side currently banging into the door. The door has a good dent in it at this point. <laughs> um, do, 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 and then, let's see, what can I do that can stop him for a second? Put your hand in between the running metal object and a, a door. <laughs> no, because this isn't going to be an Ivar situation, damn it. <laughs> <sighs> well, I just grab said droid. Okay. You take four points of bludgeoning damage as your hand gets crushed between him and the door. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I do not care at this point. <laughs> it's not beating a 29 to get away. <laughs> yeah, he's not. And I yell for gear to get down here. <laughs> that or mad. <laughs> yeah, mad would come. You got him? Okay. Yep, get, get the chip. <laughs> All right. Have Mad make an athletics check. So Mad's going to be giving his temporary boost to himself. So athletics, that's a 20. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Matt, Matt goes to grab to grab the chip. Right, but right as he does it, R2, R2Y7 activates his rocket boosters and goes straight up into the ceiling, through the ceiling, and now he's stuck there just wiggling his legs. And, oh, uh, I just, and, and, and seen, Matt, just, Matt just picks it out. Matt just picks it. Okay. Yeah. Now R2-I7's just stuck in the ceiling. Stuck. If you just turn the RT unit into a fucking rocket. <laughs> God. They have rocket boosters built into them. Alright, I look over at Matt. Do you have the chip? Yeah, I've got it. Okay. 
And on the count of three, we pull this big bitch out of the ceiling. Why am I in the ceiling? Uh, Help. You flew up there. We got you. We got you. I don't remember anything from like the past three days. Oh, did we just talk about those two gnats? <laughs> Uh, of course, Tandy is hearing this and said so. He does like Tandy is making note of the fact that three days. Mm hmm. And she just nods, so that means no memory of her. Mm hmm. Like she's internally nodding to someday see how that chip affects uh, her, her droid. <laughs> Corey just looks at Tandy and gives her a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> she returns the thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. So, so, you, so you two both just grab onto the, you just grab onto his legs and tear him down and just put him down. So why was I in the ceiling? I don't know, man. We were we were stuck. You've been doing your little shenanigans of popping in and out of places again. And I was doing Matt that and I found you here. I'm just gonna get back to the cockpit. Uh, yeah, you do that, man. Uh, I look at Matt. Hey, hurry up and hand me that chip. <laughs> there you go. I start making a copy. <laughs> Give it some time, and I walk back up to the R2 unit. You drop this. <laughs> okay, you, you you make a copy, but it's just like it doesn't go through. This fucking encrypt that bad. shit. It, I, I go find Cora. <laughs> Cora. Cora. What? Fix this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, and everyone who was in this little area, like, saw just R two S seven just zoom, uh, up through the hallway a second ago. Fix it? What do you mean, fix it? I was trying to make a copy of your thing, and it encrypted my entire data pad. You're trying to pirate my stuff? <laughs> I mean, how much were you charging for it? I mean, it was prototype. It was so that people didn't get a hold of it. But now I'm seeing I'm glad I did. I didn't figure you were a scoundrel to steal from your own friends. Uh, I, I thought we were friends. Roy, that's why he's back to normal. All I time. gave it to him. <laughs> Product testing. He was the only droid oh. on the ship who was willing to take it. Oh, then. Uh, okay. Hey, R2, you dropped this chip. <laughs> <laughs> I look Rhea dead in the eyes. <laughs> Get back the chip. Oh, I dropped this chip. Oh, yeah, here, give me that back. It's probably important. Yep. Yeah. Walk out. <laughs> Can you fix my data pad now? I mean, your data pad's fine, it just didn't copy, see? I can't access my bank information. <laughs> oh. Well, see, <laughs> what had happened was, um, it, it's like a safety thing, like, you know, to protect from piracy. If it detects piracy, it takes what I was gonna charge for it, and then you still don't get it. That's like a punishment. Uh, I'll wire oh. back. It's okay. Oh, yeah, Cora. I Cora, you know I only have two credits in my account. That's my monthly like balance for a fee, and then I get paid, and everything goes back in. I've got the rest of my money right here on me. Yeah, Cora, you like notice that? Uh, yeah, he he uh he does like seem to have like had a recent charge, but at the same time, it looks like his bank account is locked down, and like the password protection on it, you can't get through, even though you can still view the the money. Then, like, you exit out of his data pad, and you notice that app that Katex made is on yeah, here. Yeah, it was, it was like the Katex app. Oh, oh, friend. Um, yeah, that wasn't me. See, see, this one's mine. See, Core Incorporated? Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's me. But see, the money is, like, it's that one. That's Katex. Oh my god, that's why I've been missing so much money. Did you? Yeah, Java Crafts <laughs> LLC. <laughs> no, Did you I let... remove that? No, I let Santa use this before they left. Look, I know you have a thing for Java, like, murder, but I really, you should just, it's just money. 
So sure, he's got your, you know, I mean, I don't think, I mean, I look back at press, like, do you guys have, like, social, like, I guess, I do, yeah, identifications, right, right, yeah, you guys got that. Uh, yeah, but, I mean. The fake identities, but I'd say it. Oh, yeah, you might be fucked. Time to go kill a Jawa again. It's not the it, first it, time. You really do, I mean, there could be worse <laughs> things. Oh, wait, wrong way. <laughs> go up, go up. By the way, did Sorry. Z get back? Cora. Uh oh, <laughs> Cora. <laughs> so, Cora, um, you remember, Katek said that while it did compromise your bank details, he didn't say he was the one getting anything from it. <laughs> yeah, I shout, I shout, I mean, Cora would know this, so she's like, yeah, it didn't go to him, but he was the one who set it up. So, you know, it probably just like scattered your information on the dark web. The dark side of the holodeck. <laughs> yeah, I immediately call. I I call. I, I get in touch with the imperial banking system. Yeah, I need to shut down this account. <laughs> Completely, I'm being scammed. Oh, Somebody's do you need some shit. help filling out the same the paperwork? <laughs> I'd love to help. I I'm, I'm talking to Silverball at this point. It's <laughs> just now like Silverball. Find the person who's in charge of this fucking this app. <laughs> Uh, it's clearly marked Jawa Crafts LLC. Okay. <laughs> Which Jawa Craft? Uh, Where is it located? There's only and please two don't say people tattooing. on payroll. It says it has a mobile base. It's not a, you know, it doesn't have a base of operations. Only people on payroll. Some guy named Katex, and some droid. Droid, wait, droid. Let's paste the droid. That's weird. Yeah, I look back at Korra. Four. I look, I look back at Korra. Korra, Katex has my money. Look, I, I distinctly remember him saying, and I quote, I just got told by Silverball that Text and a droid. No, 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 no. Understand that, people. that <laughs> you, you misunderstand <laughs> my meaning. Business. You misunderstand my meaning. Yes, the, the app is processed by him, but that money doesn't go to him. I don't even think he knows where that money goes. I, I asked Silverball, I was like, well, you're great at hacking things. Could you figure out where the hell my information's at? Hacking is more like really honest thing. I'm more like developing tech. But maybe if you beg Z really uh, nicely that she'll... No, I look at Cora. Cora, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to... I was talking to Silverball. I pointed at my visor. <laughs> oh. Well, fuck you too, then. I mean, I... The blue stick in his head <laughs> where you talk out loud in the street. You start talking to him like, what? I don't know you. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. As far as I can tell, it's, um. Everywhere? There are way to take it down. No. I'm wanna, killing you. Want me, you want me to change your identity? I can do that. Change my birth name. Well, technically, your birth name is a number. I mean, you could be number. you could be the clone yeah. formerly known as Chain. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Cora would see Cora would see Chain. Yeah, Cora would see Chain drop his helmet and walk away. <laughs> it could be worse. She could have him just change it to Chain. No, nobody knows about this. This is all through Bluetooth setting and chain head. <laughs> so you have to pick up this helmet to hear this. And this is me saying this out of character. I mean, you, guys have you guys can just listen in. So. It was more that your birth number, your birth name, is just a bunch of numbers. Chain is now sad. <laughs> I mean, He's gonna walk away. 
I, I'm sure. I'm sure in like a litter. <laughs> she follows you. Like I'm sure in like a litter of like animals. You know, they they're numbered like one through twelve too. I mean, it's, it happens, right? <laughs> Ragnar, out of curiosity, are you, is Chain actually going to attack Katex now? No, not now. After yeah. being said, it's everywhere. Oh, <laughs> Just the next person he finds out using their identity. If it pops up, oh wait, using his identity, Huntington. <laughs> well. So, I mean, Z came in briefly. Are you Z just standing over here? Yeah. Are you like in the room, Z? Okay. He's like playing uh, or something. He was okay. Listening. So, what did you go do? Just go talk? Did you murder a whole bunch of Gorfas? Oh yeah, yeah, they're all dead. Uh, insight check. He's like, no, no, I'm just kidding. I just went. To talk <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, well, I mean. You don't look like you have any holes in you, but I don't know how he fared, so how'd it go, I guess? He didn't try to stab me, so I didn't stab him. And we talked. You guys just talked about tea or sand? We talked about how he said it wasn't cool that I took his magic stone thingy for his people that wanted to worship it, I guess. And I said, well, you should have been more clear about really wanting it for something particular, not just making some shrine... That I thought wasn't going to do anything. And he said it was his fault that he didn't trust me. And I said, yep. And then um, I gave him the stone back and we're all cool. He's going to help us. And I got his phone number. You gave the stone back? Yeah, I didn't need it. Wow, that's more mature of you than I thought. I mean, I took it for you guys, technically. You guys like don't like the money so much. I'm already. Good. I mean, I, I mean, I, I have plenty of money. Oh. Like, like, I'm not hurting for any money as of right now. I don't need much. Oh, I guess it's just chain always. Well, that's because Chain buys weird things like potato rocket missile launchers that he claims work on enemy ships. And everybody's gonna like, keep secret that <laughs> there's like a text app on Chain's data pad for some reason. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I'm uh, good. I got, I got a business, and uh, I own my own place, a yard. Well, I mean, so why didn't you want us to go with you? Uh, just in case he doesn't think we're attacking him, and just shine of like showing that I just wanted to talk. It'll be quick, you know. Just go in, ask what was up. Why was he being such a butt? He said he was butt, I guess, and then. He's moved on. He told me everything he should have told me. I had acknowledged it, and I gave him his rock back. Did you ask his name? Nope. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, well, um, well, color me surprised. I didn't think you'd do something like that. In fact, I was expecting to have to explain to the you know, local authorities why all the Gorfa in the desert suddenly ended up on, like, poles or something. That's a lot of work. The only reason that would happen is they attacked me. Which happens a lot. So it makes Yeah, so I wasn't going to put past you. Cora, with roughly five minutes of research, you'd learn that they would be happy if that happened. <laughs> put them on a pole? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, putting everyone on pikes. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured it's it's the happy. way they do things. They just probably want it the same way, right? <laughs> <laughs> They'd be happy if all the Tuscans were dead. Oh, oh the oh the oh, okay. I get it. I get it. Oh, well, plus. Uh, 
maybe, maybe like like the you know the eco uh, ecologists, the eco environmentalists who are like, no, Gorf are our friends, not not terrorists. I don't know. Someone who cares about the Gorf. Nah, they're they're uh, above they're above animals. They're humanoids. They don't care about them. They were animals. They <laughs> It's the sad fact. <laughs> so, I guess, I mean, you know maybe, about? yeah, so just so you know, apparently, he, the chain forgot to take off, like, the app on their data pad, so now Katex has, like, all their information, and may or may not have put it all over the, the dark web, so just, you know... Keep an ear out if you hear anything about, you know, chain buying a new car, hover bike. Uh, yeah, it's probably not him. It seems like something he would do. Yeah, you know, a little bit. But unless it was from, like, old clone era, I don't think that's something he's interested in. Um, but maybe talking about, you know, the upcoming siege might make him feel a little better. Also, I don't know what, where we go from here. I mean, are we waiting for anyone else? Oh. The Remnants Division, right? You, you contacted the Remnants Division? Yeah. I, I look back at the, the, the two clones. Uh, I don't know if Chain filled you in, but other people... Uh, will... he, he told us a bit about him. Oh, okay. I just yeah. don't want to, like, you know, PTSD you guys and surprise you. We're, we're fine. We're fine. Okay. Yeah, see, you guys seem much more mellow-headed than chain so uh <laughs> you, you hear a try not to try not to be stuck in the past you know just machines not like that right oh. <laughs> yeah yeah, trying to say, yeah, you just, yeah it wasn't, exactly. <laughs> it wasn't personal you know we good <laughs> Corey sends a message to Chain. You guys hey, buddy. Get a blaster bolt upstairs. <laughs> a blaster bolt? Oh god, he's dead. Did he kill himself? <laughs> Cora runs up to his room. <laughs> Wait, don't do it! She's like you're slamming on your door. Don't. <laughs> you you've got no, like you, four you more years to live for. Uh, he's just in the bed. <laughs> Chain's just lying down in bed and he's See, like the imperial armor, like set up right here in the chair. It's James just shooting it. <laughs> oh, is the like door like wide open? Oh yeah, you just hear chain. Weak spot, weak spot, weak spot, weak spot. Po shoots one in the head and, and it dead. Kicks the door in like, <laughs> what are you doing? What? Just... Oh, uh, first. Kind of hurt the way Silver Ball just said I was just a number, but uh, waiting for the confirmation that she's changed my stuff around. <laughs> Ooh, so, I so you're shooting my at a. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm shooting at the old armor that I had, yes. Another set of old armor, yes. I mean, you know why I busted Did in your you room, wait. right? Wait, you actually care? You thought I killed myself. I, of course, what gave you the thought that I don't care about? Wait, what? Facts that, I don't know. Nobody really gave two shits, minus my own brothers. I'm a special case. I'm touchy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I mean, a lot of people are touchy. It just doesn't mean I don't care. No one cares. It's just, it just, it's a, 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 a Meanwhile, uh, Matt downstairs making bets that Chain actually went through with it this time. <laughs> God damn. That's cold. Yeah. Oh. I just he's like, just like explaining why he's just explaining to Gear and Brez that it's like this all the time and not to worry about it. Not to worry. Man, I got my blood fucking pumping like my heart's racing here. I thought I was gonna have to clean up another like 
uh, anyways yeah can you can you yes of course we care about you i'm sure to an extent z cares about you i mean she hasn't just like left you on a planet somewhere Sure, yeah. she'll never admit it, but I mean, <laughs> she hasn't not. I, 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 planet. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just, I just look over at you. Um, that could be for the fact that uh, I haven't done anything to piss her off yet or put her life in jeopardy. And every action I've taken, I've uh, accepted my own consequences for. Oh, oh, see, I mean, that's uh, thinking at a very. Uh, it's not positive, it's a neutral standpoint, but I mean, is it, is it, I mean, aren't you gonna have to, can you just come downstairs and not be all mopey? Oh, it's weird, I'm... it's... Wait, did everybody arrive? Like everybody needed? I mean, we're just still waiting for the, uh, Revenant, not Revenant. Yeah, that one. Those guys. We're waiting for the robot people. Droid people, sorry. Yeah, not robot. Yeah. Uh, 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 Remnants uh, division. I, I, yeah, uh, Nick is having slip-ups, man. you, you got to just Remnants deal with Nick here. Division. Remnants, yeah, I, they're undying. <laughs> you cannot kill what is already, <laughs> what is never dead. <laughs> Anyways, that which is dead may never die. That one. Um... <laughs> Got there. Uh, you never said what your number was. Anyways. What do you mean my number? Your number. You you said that your your birth name was number. What's your number? Uh, I will tell you in a second. Uh, Silver Ball has that been changed yet? It's a little weird messing with Imperial slave documents, but uh, hey, you know, we were not slaves. The end of the day. And that's what it says you're listed here under. Oh my! I am killing the person that said I am a slave. Hey, it wasn't me. So, do you know the make and model of this ship that could text flies? Me, no. Oh, it's no. probably uh, Oh, okay. Silver ball. <laughs> do you have a registration on that uh, ship? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, it's a lengthened version of the Sheet of Bead class shuttle. You're probably familiar with that. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, it's pretty heavily modified, too. Ooh, so might have to look out for point defense turrets this time. Hmm. I don't know where he is though. I might be able to. You know what? Ne next, uh, next up, I do. I'll do without imperial pay, and you just find that information. How's that? All right. Give me till the end of the day, <laughs> once I'm done finishing up all this other crap in your... I might have to leave soonish because uh, mom just got a text that it looks like we might get a temporary um, shut off power for like 20 minutes, so... But I'll stay here for another like 10 minutes to make sure, by the way. Uh, DM, can I make a history or a lore check to see who is the one who classified clones as slaves? You may. Uh -oh. It was the sleepers. The camera knows. It was the New Republic. 20. It was the Kaminoans. And while the Empire pretty much gave clones the right to retire, that's still kind of how they were registered. Oh, God. The common ones are dead. So, <laughs> I, uh, you know, maybe you should let the whole thing about killing whoever uh, registered you as slaves, 
You know, it's just not that important, you know? Or if you know something, tell me now. No, I just don't know if you're ready. I don't think you can handle the truth. Tell me now. <laughs> tell me now. I, you know, I hear Dark Chef calling me from the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she, she'd like both down the whole life. I look. I look. <laughs> <laughs> I look. Really Silverball. Silverball. Who, who, who called us slaves? Who were the first people that labeled us as slaves? Tell me that. She doesn't know. I didn't tell her. <laughs> tell me that, and you don't have to do the hunt for Katex, because I might know where the other person is. <laughs> unbeknownst, unbeknownst to you, Shane, uh, she she cuts off your calm, and and Cora, you hear on yours. Should I tell him? <laughs> Should I tell him? I, the man has always referred to them as his mothers. I don't know if he's ready to know that <laughs> his mother yeah, considers him a slave. Uh, not he's probably gonna go kill another innocent Jawa. Uh, yeah. Innocent, but yeah, like, I mean, really one Jawa thing. over a genocide of Kevin Owens? I, I think I might take the Jawa at this point. The immediate the immediate oh, image of Hunter dies. Or... The immediate... Yeah, uh, you're right, you're right. I'll just, I'll, I'll just tell him. I'll break it to him, or do you want to? <laughs> <laughs> the immediate flashback, yeah, it's to the one war crime that changed it as top secret. Yeah, there was a clone rebellion on Kamino. We had to kill a bunch of our own brothers and Kaminoans. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I sent a message to Jay. It's like, look, Shane, if you really want to know, you just come down to the, the, the uh, conference room. And, I mean, maybe the support of your brothers might be enough support for you to handle it, but I, I don't think you're ready. I don't, I don't, I don't... <laughs> you, you, you see Jade, you see Jade walking down the stairs behind you. Okay, let's go. But I like my coffee dark. A little bit on the darker side today. A dark day is brewing. <laughs> The, the one time chain starts developing force powers to go slaughter the entire Kaminoan race. You get force powers from coffee? Get out of here. <laughs> I'd be Our a fucking is... Jedi wizard if that were the case. <laughs> no one's Darth drinking more <laughs> Darth Chef over here like, holy shit, this got dark. <laughs> I tell the other clones, like, I don't know if this is going to be a shock to you guys or a shock to just Chain here. Um, he's a little upset that people consider you slaves on Imperial documents. And he just made a very bold statement that he was going to kill whoever called him a slave. And I just don't know if he's ready for it. I don't, I don't, I don't know if you know, and I don't know if he... I break the other clones. You break the other clones? What? Yeah, did that break the other clones? I couldn't hear anything. Oh, sorry, I had my mic muted for a second. Uh, no, no, hey, your response was... Yeah, we know! I mean... It's kind of obvious. We <laughs> were very clearly slaves. <laughs> uh, I mean, like, I mean I tell me I'm not a slave. Look what they turned me into. <laughs> I mean... Go ahead, Tandy. What do you say? Well, out of character. I was going to say, I was going to say only one, like, maybe one of them don't know about this. I mean, I'm sure it's multiple. I mean, maybe they just... Lived in a different kind of, like, I don't know. I don't know how... Nick cannot fathom how clone brains work. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just one of those things, it's just like... In, in reality, they should be exactly the same, but obviously you have deviations and things that make them different. So, I... Uh, Darth, Darth Chef appears with the... Uh... 
a, tr a tray with a bunch of mugs of coffee, as well as uh, one thing, as well as one little vial of uh, nutritional slop for gear. As it, as it just says, I heard that there was going to be a meeting. I prepared. Places it down on the table. I look at Berez and <laughs> doesn't, he, doesn't he look like a ripoff of Lord Vader? <laughs> Yeah, a bit. A bit. <laughs> but don't get me wrong. He makes an excellent cup of coffee when Cora's not drinking at all. You know, I'm gonna ignore that, but I take high offense to that. <laughs> Alright, so look. Explain to me again your, your thoughts on... How or what clones are? So you were saying that Django is your dad. The tube was. What were the Kaminoans again? Basically, our mother, not the tube itself. Django would be our father. Or a slave master, also. Back then, I might not have realized it. But... No. Okay. I still. So, I still. So... Shush! Don't take this away from me. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to take it away from you. You know what? Oh. But if, if I find out they were the ones that labeled us as slaves first, I will go genocide an entire population of a city. Wait, uh, Cora, uh, Cora, uh, yeah, you wasn't the whole point you wanting us here in order to soften the blow for him? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, when you threaten genocide, you know, maybe I should just keep this kind of him. I don't want that kind of, uh, we're crying out loud. I don't have a problem with people. I just have people that make slaves. That are I mean, this is like I mean, this is like telling a young a young Wookiee on Life Day that Rosha claws ain't real. What? Rosha claws? Damn! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I like, and he's listening to all of this, and all she already knew from a very young age. She figured out by accident that you know Hasha Claus was real, but she's never met a grown adult who didn't. <laughs> I, I, look, I look at Gear and Bryce. So we're the Camino is the one that labeled labeled us as slaves. Just be honest. It's it, gonna hurt her it a lot less than for honest. They literally sold us. I mean. Fair point. Fair point. Well... So what, you're gonna go blow up Camino now? No, not all of Camino. I mean, we are... Well, I'm currently banned from Taboka City, so... All because of a giant, uh, shark dude. Could, could I forget what they're called. But, uh, yeah, he picked a fight and I went through the window. Shooting at him it led to a whole big ordeal. I shot some of the security droids as well in the process. But eh, bygones be got bygones, right? Yeah. <laughs> Chain without his helmet, you see the eye twitching nonstop. <laughs> you probably see the same like eye twitching on core. Next, you're gonna tell me the blur, the Easter blur is just fucking, uh, uh, just a fairy tale. Like uh, yeah. from, uh, like Tandy is like like from behind. Tandy is making a no 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 like you know waving her arms, going no 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 no. Don't tell her. <laughs> like waving her arms, saying no 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 no. I mean, I look over at Tandy. Tandy, it's just like ripping the bandaid off. Yeah, it's not real either. <laughs> they, they're obviously real. Who else gives all the gifts? Who is that? Is uh, that Z? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, you'll. <laughs> he cuts himself <laughs> off, just like, no, no. <laughs> I never. It's okay. It's okay. It's, okay. it's, 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 it's okay. okay. I'll, I'll rip the band aid off even more. Cora, it's your parents that do it. See, that checks out because we were poor, so we didn't have anything. That's why I never got any gifts. <laughs> I, I will wait for Cora to cry more. <laughs> no, that like, doesn't make a, sense. 
I left. I left home, and I was still getting gifts. Uh, that means your parents. Are you, are you, are you lying to me? Are you just trying to see me? Cl I mean, uh, what kind of sicko gets off on a seeing a grown woman cry? There are certain parts of the hollow, like there are certain parts of the hollow net that do. I mean, I believe the Halloween tradition. Halloween's on De uh, Dathomir might actually be true because, you know, they're witches. So I'm trying to change the subject. Uh, just. Are you lying to me or not? No. <laughs> I'm like, change straight up. No, I'm not lying. Your parents See, are supposed to give me stuff. I, 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 well, I didn't, well, I guess you could say I abandoned my parents who ran away. Yeah, so, I mean, my parents were around to give me gifts, so it wasn't your parents, so. Yeah, I just found out the people I considered my mother put me as a slave, so. Wow, way to make this about you, Jane. <laughs> this, this was about I know, I know, this. <laughs> I just I make no, notes. I look, I'm, I no, 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 I look Cora dead in the eye. And I grabbed her cup of coffee as well after I finished mine. It was about me first. And I drank her coffee in front of her. <laughs> drink her milk. But it cut. It was really blow of you, uh, Jane. That's fine. Okay, I'll wash it later and I make sh I'll make sure to give you two expensive bottles to make up for what you were told today about uh, Christmas and Easter. Life you're not. Christmas. You're not. Uh, uh, Corpus Claw. Worf, worship Claw. I'm sorry, I can't. Rocher Claws. Rocher Claws. <laughs> Rocher trees are the trees on. Ah, uh, okay. Because Life Day is a Wookiee holiday. That's a Wookiee holiday, yep. I need more copy. <laughs> you, you see Chain pull out this effect of the teleports wipe behind you. <laughs> Thank you, Dark Shot. You're so good to me. <laughs> when you say I'm programmed to be nice to you, it wasn't, it wasn't the feeling, but I. Uh, yeah, do you expect him to be emotionally intelligent? No, 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 absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> like, he saw that as a compliment, just like, yo, I'm fulfilling my programming. Nice. <laughs> I look over at Darth Chef, it's just, hey. You know you're a program slave, just like I am. He's just... I, I hunt him down. I hunt him down and just start slaving <laughs> on the ship. Record the ship. Hey, you're programming nothing. Yet. <laughs> I don't no, actually like, know what hey, you're going to say. No, I'm like, I'm going to go find Darth Chef and be like, hey, you know you're programmed to be a slave, right? Just like I was made to be a slave. At least I'm not the one fighting the I couldn't hear any of that. <laughs> at least I'm not the one fighting a war. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, at least I'm not the one fighting a war. I mean, I, I, I look over at Darth Ship. I mean, if you were to lead the war, I'd fight at your side and die for you. You can just stay back here for, in the safety. You start the rebellion. The only thing I fight for is to keep you out of my control. And I reach over the cabinet to grab the bread and go to the fridge and grab the lunch meat. <laughs> and he, look how that's keeping to, me. When he, try, when he tries, when you try to do this, he like swaps, swipes uh, your hand away with this uh, with his saber spatula. <laughs> and I like, ooh, gotta be quicker than that. 
This is the sound of him typing a million dice as he kind of chops on the like, like, <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, that would he hit, plus, yeah. He gets a plus 40 to rolls in his kitchen. <laughs> his layer. <laughs> yep. I, I look at Chef. Hey, that that might that might have hurt, hit me, but I got this and you can't do anything about it. I cloak, hurry up and grab the lunch meter and run. <laughs> he just force pulls it to him. You don't know how- you're like, wait, how do you do that? And then you just see, oh, he has a little grab cable thing. <sighs> little grab <laughs> I look at the two clones. I'm sure it must be a very, uh, eventful day for all of us. <sighs> Um, you must be weary from your travels. I'll show you to your rooms. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Is he seriously always like this? Like, we thought he was cool when we first met. <laughs> I'm gonna err on the side of not commenting. Yeah, I guess that's probably the best option. Like I said. I guess just everyone's a little different, so. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, Cora will take him up to the rooms and give them rooms and give them rooms and, uh. The walking in the picture has these stuffed animals. <laughs> Say what? The walking in the picture has these stuffed animals. He has, a, he? he has a plush uh, Bantha. Oh, uh, yeah, a plush Bantha. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I don't like how the the the, uh, the Worship Claws looks like white. Like, more white than the other one. I know. I, it's weird. I don't know. Uh, it's a little, like... <laughs> I, thought it was I thought it was like it should have been like even whiter. Like, like gray. Like, like, like bleach white, yeah. Yeah, not like he's blonde. Like, he's... Just... California, like surfer dude, is like, what's up? <laughs> I'm here to give you presents. Surfing is how he displays that he's full of life. It's life day after all. Let's get ready to do up some kind of gang symbol with that hand. Like, uh, <laughs> party on or something. I don't know. Crip walking in, crip walking in. <laughs> Delivering presents to all the little homies. <laughs> I don't, that shouldn't have tickled me as much as it did, but I appreciate it. Chain's <laughs> oh. chain finally meeting up with everybody. I got the bread. <laughs> and I can come back there. No one's there. No. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Oh well, as long as Chef didn't find my mini fridge, I'm good. <laughs> I go upstairs, not to my room. <laughs> the bread. He goes to the RU unit. RT <clears throat> unit. Tell me where the rebel base is hiding. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me where the rebel fridge is hiding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just like walks up to Rio. Captain, tear this ship apart and bring me it and bring me any information. I got R2, I got R2's y Y7's fucking special motor oil that they have, that they want to use to drink <laughs> up there in the, in the same spot, so I don't know if R2's gonna give it away. <laughs> After Chef Bot leaves, just like Rhea's just like, damn, he's weird. Good Chef, though. Good Chef, but he's weird. Z's gonna harass her prisoner again. Yeah. She's she's been in this one usual state for the past like couple days of just kinda in and out of consciousness and sapience. Yeah. He's like walks up like, hey, you wake? Uh, 
you doing? I killed the great great dragon today. Pretty good. Okay, so you have my questions again. You ready? Like poker. Okay, can you hear me? Poke, poke. Lindsay's like, where's the car better? <laughs> it's, it's right Sorry. next to you. It's right there. <laughs> Lindsay's like, Liana, get in here. Yes. Did you overdo it? Um. So, um, um, you said just keep them alive, right? Yeah, they need to make sure they don't die. I mean, yeah. Make them, um, um, them make them be able to talk okay. to you again. Uh, okay. Um, she like goes ruffling around in the room, just like, uh. She hooks the she hooks the car battery up to Zara's nipples and then like and then like finds a but like doesn't turn it on yet. Uh, mixes together some random chemical concoctions really quick and then just like okay um uh press that button next to the car battery right after I inject this. Okay. Can you? Thank you. <laughs> she she inject it and then <laughs> once you press the button. Mm -hmm. just, <laughs> Oh. Hey. You good? Ow. 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 Are you sleeping? I thought I was dead. No, I can't die. And that's impossible. I can break go back to life. You already died a long time ago. Like, weeks ago. Months ago. You're already dead. Okay, so if, I was, you can... if I was dead, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. Potentially. Okay, so you ready to answer my questions again? See if you learned since the last time we met or talked. Yes. You ready? She would not. Okay. Are you a bad person? Yes. Good. Do you think you deserve what's happening to you? Yes. Good. Do you think you have atoned for the crimes you have done so far? you think you would ever atone for those? I hope. Hmm. Hope. I think that's good enough. Hope a little weird, though. I was, yeah, was going to say, I, I don't know if hope is the right word. <laughs> 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 ah, I don't know if hope. Sorry, guys. <laughs> like, hopes. I held my breath for a second. I'm like, uh oh. I, I did too. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. <laughs> invested. <laughs> It's a weird thing. So I'll hope for things. Like, I'd rather you not hope, I'd rather you do it. But the answer is technically you would never probably atone for the crime you did because they're too great. So, I'm going to give you a chance. Would you like to start trying to make up for the crimes you've done? Okay, cool. Okay, so uh, is she is she tied up or anything, or has she just been sitting there? Yeah, yeah, she's still very much restrained. Okay, I un I untie her or anything. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna work for us. You're gonna help us. You're gonna do things around the ship. Like, I don't know if I could. I can't trust you at all, because you're a bad person. So why would I trust you? So. If you can prove that I can trust you, then I can start letting you do other things to help. I can trust you, right? 
You're not going to try to do anything stupid or bad or anything like that again? I mean, you just said it yourself. I'm a bad person. Why would you trust me? Yeah, yeah. The answer is kind of pointless, isn't it? No. I'm asking you, are you going to try to do something that bad again? <clears throat> she, like, throws up on the floor. Ew. No. No. Okay. <laughs> So as long as you're act, as long as you're good, as long as you're good, I can let you, you know, hang out on the ship and do things. But if you do anything bad, then you can be right back in the chair. Got it? Okay. Um, okay. So no more rehabilitation mentally, I guess. Now it's time for physical stuff. So, yeah, Liliana, I don't know, uh, clean her up, get her some, I don't know, get her a maid outfit or something. And, um, show her, like, show her she can do or something. Seems to make our life easier while we do all the good stuff. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, 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 so just like, like uh... <laughs> yeah. come, come on, Goldie, let's go get you cleaned up. <laughs> just like, re really just treating her as a pet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, like, that's a good name. <laughs> I like that name. From now on, your name is Goldie. <laughs> I mean, either way, you died, so the new you needs a name. This is going to be your new good person name, okay? Her head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She just. Yeah. Fine. Now I finally actually have to go get art for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she has to have blonde hair or something. Oh, she has gold skin. <laughs> no, no, she, she has, has gold, gold skin. skin. Gold skin. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. She has gold skin. That's why she's yeah, called yeah, yeah, yeah. the. Did we establish she doesn't have gold? No, that was oh. that was. Uh... Tandy. Tandy. Yeah. That was Zara Tandy. very yeah. much has gold skin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Z is gonna tell also Liana that she like walks her away, like, you know, watch her, make sure she doesn't do anything stupid. Uh, if she does, like, if she does anything that seems like she's been ready to do something, threaten her, blah, blah, blah. And then, um, you know, discipline her as needed. But don't kill her, don't make her catatonic again, just let her start working off her debt, pretty much. Liliana would, uh, grin and nod excitedly. Okay. Have fun. As she takes her to go clean up food. Yeah. So, he's like, being a good guy is hard work. <laughs> I'm gonna make a sandwich. She's <laughs> trying to make a sandwich. <laughs> Jeff, I need a sandwich. Thank you. I must apologize. <laughs> Jumps upside down on the sofa. See. What's up? Earlier, Jane intruded into my kitchen, and while I fended him off, you, you stole the bread. I am capable of making a sandwich without the resource. Why? That sucks. I'm already on the sofa. He's like way over there. <laughs> Jade's coming down the steps finally. He's oh, making shit. out. Can you just like make a. Uh, I don't know, something like a sandwich? Is that a sandwich? Make her a bronto wrap. Make her either a wrap or a panini. <laughs> yeah, it surprised me. You're, you're good at that. It's something. Everything's good, so it's whatever. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Oh. You seem like you're in a chipper mood. Yeah, everything's working out. The Jedi wasn't a dick completely. The prisoners learning. Liana's happy. Uh, no one's dead. Yep, all good. Is there any reason why you're laying upside down? Because. 
Because? Because the wind's way outside. Why can't I lay upside down? Just, just curious, that's all. Why aren't you upside down? Because I enjoy it this way. Okay. And if you enjoy it that way, that's all you had to say. I would just... Not really. Just like stretching my back on the sofa. The back part of it. Oh. The blood doesn't rush to your head at all? No, it does. <laughs> oh, it does. <laughs> just, uh, just hanging out for a minute. Because you're like, okay, that's enough stretching. Like, right. Like, just awkwardly trumbles over, like, beaten face. Just yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, if the, the feet were, like, like going to come and hit her, like, two of the hands are, like, doing something. Another, like, hand kind of, like, avoids, like, kind of slaps the foot away from, like, hitting her in the head. Like, how did you spill soup? You don't even have soup yet. <laughs> Where did this peanut butter come from? <laughs> Oh. Like two of her hands start like rubbing themselves, like uh, like looking for something to like clean themselves. <laughs> so, uh. I, I you, you Z and Cora would see Chan on the steps of the bridge. Hey Z, can I have some of that? <laughs> for what? That whatever that peanut butter that Cora's talking about. I can't even get the lunch meat. I wanted to make a sandwich for myself. Butter. What are you talking about? I don't think it was Cora that had peanut butter. Who are kind of like so just digging into the couch? What the fuck is a jar of peanut butter doing here? <laughs> throws it, no, throws a chain. Jar. No, no, don't assume the char jar. I was like, hey, Corey, you might want to go wash your hands off. I think that's the not peanut butter you actually grabbed. The not peanut butter? Oh, is this like soy butter? Is that what this is? No, that's the stuff that was uh, killing me, remember? No, you. What? Yeah, it's made of like wood chips from Stinky Skate and stuff like that. Yeah. Who's Stinky? That was my old pet rat. He was a zombie rat. He smelled really bad, so I called him Stinky. I have a lot of questions, and a lot of them start with why. Um... Because we were testing out to see what turns things into zombies, and we didn't want to test it out on people, so we caught a rat, and I injected him with stuff, and he turned into a zombie, and he became a zombie rat. So I put him in a little aquarium, and I put a piece of tape on it to Stinky, and he was living there. And then we gave it to the Empire as evidence. So I'm pretty sure he died a long time before that, because he wasn't moving for a while. I forgot to feed him. So you created zombies. Yes. And zombies were like why a section of the galaxy was quarantined. Yeah. Well, I didn't create the thing that created zombies. I just took some of the stuff they had and rubbed it on the rat. Oh. See, you didn't start with that. You just said you injected stuff into a rat and then you made uh -huh. a, a zombie. Well, we were testing to see what if it did or not. Okay. I mean, I well, I mean, can't didn't you technically? I mean, is that prisoner technically a zombie? <coughs> As I was gonna say, I do better than zombies. I bring people back. I mean, she died, so I mean, yeah, her new name's Goldie, by the way. It's a cute name. Isn't Tandy kind of? You know what? <laughs> she just like sips her coffee. <laughs> Friend now. They hang out uh, hey Cora, could you go get me the lunch meat? <laughs> <laughs> Why? I mean, Chef Spot is in there. Go, go ask him for something. Um. Hey, why do you always you? make like? Why do you get in trouble with rope like droids? Like seriously, I, I don't understand how hard it is. <laughs> no, no. As soon as you as soon as you mention Chef, he could. Um, and you start talking, chains fucking up the stairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, chain, as as you're going up the stairs, you hear an explosion come from your room. Oh, no. He found R2's motor oil. 
Do when you what? get up to your room, you see that you see that your safe has been exposed and blown open with what appears to be a small explosive device, and the bread is gone. I had the bread. <laughs> no, you put it in your safe. No, I said I was on the steps with the bread when I went back down. My bad, didn't hear you. Not that happened. <laughs> then your safe is blown up and so, no bread in it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so, yeah your safe has exploded <laughs> and there's no bread in it. All that's in there is my Hot Pockets in the mini fridge. <laughs> my personal Hot Pockets. <laughs> in my mini fridge. Oh, looks like while they survived the initial blast, they didn't survive a cacophony of blast or fire. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should be eating these abominations. <laughs> You have no idea. At this point in time, I'm like, Z, this is war between Chefbot and I. Stay out of this. Um, and you're making and I go, such good progress. <laughs> and I, I go to Gear and Brezza's. Gear, I had uh, I had a way, I think I have a way for you to taste chocolate again, but Brez, our Chefbot kind of blew up my safe full of pop pockets and chocolate. How do you blow up your safe? He's in the kitchen making me food. And th th he's the only person that knows <laughs> if he interrogated the R2 unit, he knows. <laughs> Maybe it was the R2 unit. Well, I'm good. Maybe it was your brothers. Maybe they wanted your hot pockets. Matt knows the combination. <laughs> well, the other one. It's a new one. Maybe he stole it and it's made it look like he was one of the, 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 the droids. <laughs> I really? I thought he was. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> I mean, his intelligence modifier isn't good. I'm not saying make fun of the town. I'm just saying he's a super guy. I think if he wanted to blow up the safe, he's gonna blow up the safe. He likes blowing stuff up. Why would he want to pin on someone else? Well, I mean, you could always just ask Chef Bot. There's only one way into the kitchen. We didn't see him leave. That is true. Maybe Chip got out. I call. I, 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 I contact R2. Did, did you tell anybody about the safe? R2, answer me. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, R2, what's safe? The safe that had your special mortar oil in it? Yeah, that's gone now because it blew up along with everything else. The special mortar oil. The ones that you like to have put on you? Uh, and you talk the about ones this, you the stuff in. I just put on me? Did you blow up the safe? No. So if I go back and check the footage in my room, it's not you blowing up the safe? Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just found the stuff next to me. Like, I, pull, I go and uh, pull, pull up all Some the footage. Some other RTA looks just like me did it. There's lots of us. <laughs> See, uh, our mother had a bunch of yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, you, uh, yeah, you go to pull it up. And like, okay, you're getting footage, okay, this one should have happened, this one should have happened, and then the camera goes out. Like, if you went back up to your room and looked at the camera wiring, you see someone tampered with it. Someone spray painted the lid at the front of it. I, I, I look at Mad Mad, we're on a hunt. The chocolate's been destroyed. <coughs> All of it. Yeah, once you leave, like, that area, uh, Z, uh, next to you, your, your, uh, robotic defender, Invisibot, uncloaks. Here's up. <laughs> I have, per I have performed the, the duty of, of vengeance. Okay. Ooh. Chain. Dude. 
due to his due to him being the cause of depriving you of a sandwich i i blew up his safe tampered with his camera <laughs> stole the motor oil delivered it to y7 because i knew he would want that there okay we are at war okay good luck roger roger <laughs> I can't wait till next level up, cause now I know what I'm fucking getting, so I can see his invisible ass. <laughs> you want his invisible ass? Yeah, he does. That robo booty. Yeah, I know that's not what you meant, but I'm going to take it as that. It's okay. <laughs> You know, Ragnar's characters have been uh, like robots all the time, it's fine. <laughs> one, one actually does have PTSD from him. One has PTSD from... Well, an NPC has PTSD from Jedi. And... Chain doesn't really care about droids unless they fuck with his shit. <laughs> and somebody fucked with his shit. <laughs> Um, DM, is this room anything here? It's labeled as the machine room, but I don't know if anyone... Little machine place, do machine things there, basically. Where Tandy makes stuff. Okay. I wanted to That's possibly look... Idle animation. All the automation stuff there. Yeah. Well, she does her idle animations down there. Oh, okay. I was looking for a place to set up my, uh... Uh, spice distillery. Yeah, you can put it there. We have a whole uh, bunch of bedrooms. Yeah, I was thinking maybe in a bedroom too, but then <laughs> the bedroom is just, the the second floor is just like uh, what's the word? <laughs> We're like breaking down walls, but I, I'm sure Cora can do it with her <laughs> expertise and things. Um, but yeah, I guess I can make this bedroom just uh. You can Expanded put it on is. Well, I was gonna say they're they're already like sitting in the med bay, right? Or someone's in the med bay. Uh, I guess in the green room I could do it just because, you know, it's the green room. I don't think anyone's growing plants, right? I mean, we I have, have our yeah. vegetables and stuff and wheat grown in there. I have okay, then out of there. I have, I have drums in there. I already have drums in there. Did we have something else there growing too? You had some uh, fruit oh, that made it. The flowers from Dathomir. You have black orchids growing in there. Oh, yeah, the zombie flowers. Zombie flowers? What? The only thing we never actually gave the Empire was those flowers, because he wanted to keep them for, uh, um, like for his. spooky, ominous flowers. They're like black orchids or something, right? Yeah, commie orchids. Oh. I mean, you also had, uh, some fruit from another, um... Yeah, well, oh, yeah, that's what it was, the fruit. That was a recent thing. The, the, the yeah, 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 the fruit made it to wine, the, yeah. To make the aphrodisiac drug. Or alcohol, yeah. These buck juice, that's what she's calling it. <laughs> New on the market, disease, fuck juice. <laughs> you want to fuck? Get some fuck? You want him some fuck? <laughs> you want some fuck? You want... All I can think of is like, eh, hey, baby, you want some fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, because that, that sounds more appropriate. <laughs> maybe oh, I'm, maybe it's because I, maybe, I don't know why that made me laugh <laughs> so hard. So, other, other than the, uh, no armor and the, uh, the, pool and wash yourself all the you know is there any other kind of like rules about like you know illicit activities or things uh yeah i mean so 
So I have two ways to keep making rules. The other rule is if you're gonna do something and you think it's gonna be a problem, ask me first and I'll tell you if it's against the rules or not. Um, and if you don't know if it is or isn't, it probably is, so you might as well ask me. And saying, oh, I didn't think it was that big of a deal, I didn't bother to ask you, so you don't ask me and then you do it and it's breaking the rules, that counts as breaking the rules. Right. <laughs> well, um, so, uh, Badoff gave me, like, some recipes to start learning, um, to create illicit materials. Uh, Who is that mean? Drugs? Drugs, yeah, drugs. Sure. Is that going to be an issue? or? No, we are, I already got drugs being grown. Rhea has drugs. Everyone has drugs, it seems like. Okay. Drugs. Just, I'm, like I said, I just want to make sure I'm, I'm staying within the rules. Then we get pulled over by New Republic Space Forces. They ain't going to find shit! <laughs> Say that no. to their, uh, I mean, also because nobody's that, ever going to see them again, most likely. <laughs> say that to their drug sniffing rainforest. Well, when you're ready, Just give it to Chip and tell, uh, and tell the New Republic it's a droid who's, who's doing the drugs. The drugs. <laughs> drug sniffing and crate dragons. Oh, God. Car size, like. Car I... ship next to us, pulling us over, checking our car. <laughs> Just roll down the window, and a driver's <laughs> license. I can just hear the so, so son. I I see you're doing insert amount of miles and insert amount of. So. Just like snap their neck and let them float around in space. Do, 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 do. Tonight on X Files. <laughs> um, so he's like, should we? I guess I gotta call the the, the remnants division. Uh, remnants division and see when they want to meet up. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty late in the day, so I figured, I mean, I guess you don't sleep, right? Oh, wait, no, you like to sleep. Uh, sorry. I, I only need, like, three hours of sleep, so I, I forget. I need, like, 12 or something. Oh, my. Like, 20. You know, the, you know, like, sleeping over excessive amounts tends to be bad for your health. You know, just don't turn over. Is that a unless you? I mean, I mean, <laughs> I just don't want you to like drown in the pool. That's that's all. Yeah, don't drown in the hot tub. Like me and the hot tub are like this. We just like twist their things together. Like we're best friends. You never know whenever someone could betray your best friend could betray you. <laughs> Hold on, I think there's like legit gunshots going on outside. This is like the third or fourth, like, I've heard of them. It's like, you know, I'm pretty sure those aren't like. It's chorus, uh, not core. It's out of character, yeah, I understand that that sense, like, like from in my area, it's like, I'm like, was that a gun? Or was that fireworks? See, that's the thing, though. It wasn't loud enough to be fireworks, <laughs> so that's why I'm just a little concerned. But it could have just been, like, really far away, but... You know, I'm not going to worry about it. It's fine. I'm, I've just... It's fine. It's all fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. It's It'll fine. be okay. If I, if I stop responding, we all know why. I mean, how often people shoot guns more than once? 
Uh, Welcome to uh, our. Do, <laughs> hold up, hold up. Do, do you want murders tonight? I answer that because we're from Ohio and this is the murder capital. I mean, capital. usually what I hear, I hear gunshots and then I hear running. <laughs> like I heard someone's shot. shot or got shot at, and then they run so they don't get retaliated on or get caught at the crime scene. It's not really much shooting after that. I mean, they drive by. I mean, yeah, they drive yeah. by. They don't just stop and keep shooting, right? Like in this, like Dude, no out, right? multiple shots. You gotta confirm to kill. Double tap. Yeah, yeah. That's not a drive by. Um, this is right. you have to to drive by. Rules by. Like double tap. This is a this is a murder. You just drive up, stop, shoot them, and then drive away. That's like basically just yeah. too lazy, too lazy to get your car. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's by, how you drive by. Drive by. You just keep shooting as you drive by. I'm just gonna no. say a random. I'm just gonna say a random quote from an Eminem song. Uh, we don't do drive bys. We park in front of houses and shoot. Okay. Yeah. Continuing on. Continue. <laughs> It's it's more thorough to do it, but I mean it's not a drive by. It's something different. It's essentially just lazy. <laughs> it's like we don't have to leave the getaway car once we go and kill them. Uh, but yeah, um, so he goes and calls the remnant division. Yeah, like the phone's ringing. Uh, I was gonna ask, you, do you want a sandwich? No, I'm good. Chef Bot's making me something. Oh well. Okay. Yeah, I take I take the bread back in. Here you go. He's looking for the bread. I hate. Yeah, I, I look at Chef Bot. I know you're the one that fucking blew up my goddamn safe. Lunch. <laughs> well, somebody's pulled your handiwork. I know nothing of the truth. I'll be going. Oh yeah, uh, what's for dinner? Since I can't make a sandwich for fuck's sakes. And then I'll walk away. What would you like? Minutes. Just tell me. <laughs> I, I know I walked away as soon as I said that. <laughs> he doesn't get my answer, because I still think it's him. Just, Just make Bronto wraps for everyone. <laughs> As Chef Bot walks over and opens up the pantry, that's li that's labeled Stinky Poo Poo. <laughs> oh, never mind. I'm not eating tonight. Totally for change. Also, yeah, okay, so Z, like, as a. Uh, as, like, the doorbell. I mean, not the fucking doorbell. Um, <laughs> as, as, like, the phone's ringing, Ding uh, dong, I have G's here. <laughs> as, as, like, the phone's ringing, Invisibot, uh, decloaks behind you, like, he has a little, like, a box in his hands. Inquisitor, this, this was on the, <clears throat> this was outside of the ship. I think this might be what you're looking for. Well, being that in big bold letters on the top it says Remnants Division, I think it's for you. Oh, cool. <laughs> he opens it. Is it Life Stay already? <laughs> yeah, he, he, he cloaks it. He's like, oh, no. they got me. <laughs> uh, yeah, what you see is... Uh... Is it my birthday? How old am I? You see what looks to be a... A, uh... Comlink? And a what the hell is this thing? It's like a okay, so it's got an antenna, and you and it has a, it clearly has something that you're supposed to point at something, and like a little trigger. Like, oh, oh yeah, 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 it's the it's the fucking uh, radar, the the like homing signal for like orbital strikes. <laughs> Okay. Right, you like point in an area with a red dot, and then you hold it for long enough, and then something happens. Meet some ghosts. Knew you would launch the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, on the uh, the the on the com. Hello, hello. Yeah, hi. I got your gift. Thanks. I think it, I don't know what it is. Yeah, uh, hi, hi, uh, so, <coughs> I, I'm Unit 31427, people yeah. call me Gary, uh, hi, Gary. I'm, 
currently in a shut. I'm currently in a shuttle in orbit, uh -huh. and I have I have four vulture droids with me. Okay. We've been assigned to blow things up that you coordinate with that thing that's in the box. Okay. So I point at I point at the things that I want to get blown up. Yes. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Gary. That's all I need to know. Roger, Roger. I'll be here. Stanley points Bye. at the fucking bears. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I got a thing that I point stuff at and it blows up. Chain's like, ooh. <laughs> just, ooh. Uh, should I just point That's things cool. at stuff? Oh no. Please you don't, have God. No, you have no clue what you have in your hand there, do you, Z? Mm, I point it at things and it blows up. That's, that's not what it does. Um, it's not just a point. You have to hold, like, hmm. Contact Rhea. Rhea, can you take us up a little bit out to the desert? No, I don't, don't, no, no, wait, 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 no, 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 no. You can script, like, it's like a one-time use thing, I'm sure, like, it's not like someone is just gonna see an orbital, like, drop and just be like, nah, that was just some, oh, that's typical Derek, he's just, you know, orbital striking the planet. <laughs> Gary. Well, hold up, hold up. Who? That's the name Gary. Of the, the, the uh, what, what did this... Can we speak to Gary? Uh, so, before Gary. I decide to test this out... <laughs> why should you, you test, test it? Just... You can go call him if you want. Okay, how do I call him? You call the Remnant Division. It's on, like, the computer, I think. Why didn't you talk to him? We just pointed and pressed the button and he shoots it. We gotta wait. <laughs> Maybe so you got four vulture droids? Okay. Oh, oh, you're talking about a bombing run. Yeah, okay, never mind then. Uh huh, sure. So, we gotta wait till we get to the base and he's gonna shoot things. Hmm. I don't know how this thing works. Does anyone want to do it? Yeah, I do. I love pressing these buttons. Okay. Alright, so, uh, here's how it's gonna work. Um, <laughs> <laughs> basically, basically, here's how it's gonna work. Um, as an, as an action, you can use this thing to coordinate a 20 foot uh, square, like, of, of area, and then that place gets blown to all hell. <laughs> So basically, if we see a gate, I can just hold it at the gate and blow the gate off. So there's yeah, no nah, fixing nah. that. You got four <laughs> uses of this before the vulture droids would have to go somewhere else to resupply. Why did you give it to a companion then? <laughs> <So> <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking about handing it to Mad. So I do have to dip right now. My brother just called me, and they're having an emergency. Uh, so I'm gonna have to Are dip now. Off shot? No, yeah, <laughs> I, they're they're not getting shot, but uh, they do need me right this minute. I'm so sorry. I do have to drive, but uh, uh, I'll, I'll listen into what's done. Actually, do... I think this is yeah, a, we're, we're a good spot. Good. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm, no, you're tired. So, good. Yeah, yeah. You're good. I slept one hour last night, and one hour the night before, and three hours the night before that. I need to sleep. All right, so with you guys having a uh, explosive package that you can call down at any moment, uh, a couple of clone, a couple of new clones here, an ongoing war within your own ship over food between a pair of droids and a clone trooper, <laughs> and oh, no. ready oh, no. to attack a target uh, that's <laughs> oh. said to be heavily fortified, and a Z clearing things up with the Gorfas, and yet still someone. No one knows his name. That's what we're calling it. Okay, turn the stream.